and we are live day four of the protests in los angeles i'll take off the helmet day four of the protests in los angeles following the death of george floyd in minneapolis and unfortunately i'm getting started a little late in the action today i am currently at the corner of third and edinburgh for the first time since these protests kicked off i'm not coming to you from downtown but rather we're in the fairfax district right now and the action today has centered around the corner of fairfax and third which unfortunately i cannot get to at the moment it's blocked off all day long there have been news reports of police cars being burned and rubber bullets being fired at the crowd well not all day but for much of the afternoon it's now it's now something around 5 p.m local time and i will try my best to get a little closer to the action where the violence has unfolded today there's a large crowd of protesters who are still marching east on third headed for this very intersection where i'm standing where there is also a police line blocking them off i'll take you over to that police line right now as the protesters start their i can't breathe chant i can't breathe i can't breathe it is a much much larger crowd today than the first three days of the protests here in Los Angeles. In fact, it's a struggle just to get over to the police line. You can see how densely packed in people are here. The police, the police line is about 10 feet behind me. Maybe you can get a glimpse at some of the officers above the crowd. I'm hoping, as was the case last night, that we will have some helpful commenters on the broadcast to be able to direct me as the action shifts i'm gonna see if i can take some side street that's gonna get me a little closer to fairfax for those just tuning in again day four of the protests here in los angeles following the death of george floyd in minneapolis there's a police line even blocking off this alleyway. Oh, friendly officer. Let's, let's turn it around. Is there a supervising officer I could speak to? Could you give a comment to the press? Can you give a comment to press? Is, is there any way I... Okay. Uh, anyone here? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna see as the helicopter circles around overhead and has been for hours. I'm gonna see if I can get closer to 3rd and Fairfax. I don't know how many thousands, and it's been thousands, I don't know how many thousands of protesters have been out today. Early on in the afternoon, I heard an estimate of 20,000 or so were gathered at a park where I believe the main protest began. And it was peaceful at first, from what I understand, but at a certain point, the news reports started flooding in of police cars being burned and scuffles breaking out between police and protesters and rubber bullets being fired and the mayor has i believe declared a curfew that starts at 8 p.m but is only in effect for downtown i believe i believe that's what it is but i didn't i caught part of the mayor's talk on the way over here but not the entire talk so i'm not positive of that and we'll see where the action unfolds tonight thus far and i'll flip it around thus far all the action at night has been in downtown, at least the, the main action. 
and that's where I've been the past three nights. But thus far today, Saturday afternoon, the action has been centered in the Fairfax area, as I might be closing in on Fairfax right now. Let's see if I am. Third and Fairfax was the corner that it was the hot spot. Indeed, I, okay, I'll flip the camera around. I am approaching Fairfax Avenue. So let's see what if anything is left over. Oh, there's there's a shot of a, I believe it's a county sheriff's bus that takes people arrested to jail. Curfew in effect for Beverly Hills as well. Interesting, we are very close to Beverly Hills. But right now, I've... I don't know what he found. But here we go, much closer to the action now, or where the action was. So this is Fairfax Avenue. And I'm approaching the intersection of Fairfax and 3rd. Lights flashing, looks like a fire truck or ambulance. And we'll take you right up to the police line. So, uh, will they comply? Will who comply? Who, who do you mean? Who are you asking about? So here we are at the police line on Fairfax, just south of 3rd. And the protesters are silent at the moment. Now they're see some are saying don't shoot. Let's see if I can flip my press pass around. Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't and I'll give you a little picture of the crowd right in front of the police line on Fairfax south of 3rd. I believe there were rubber bullets fired somewhere around here earlier. If someone can confirm that, I would appreciate it. I was listening to a bunch of news reports about rubber bullets being fired. I don't know exactly where. Um, I can't zoom in, but if we peek... Black Lives Matter! If we... If we peek through the police line, or right by the side of the police line, you might be able to make out those flashing lights about three or four blocks ahead. Uh, someone's asking, do you think they will obey curfew later? Eight to five. The mayor announced. I've got, I've got commenters asking whether people will obey curfew or not. I don't think so. Yeah, it's my impression likewise that the mayor's gonna have a tough, the mayor's gonna have a tough time in force. Would you mind talking with the YouTube audience for a little bit? It's no problem. No problem. Off camera, yes. Like, not my face, but I hope so. Okay, I, I'm just getting down here now. Was was this where the police cars were set on fire and, and where there were rubber bullets no. fired? No, on Beverly, the rubber bullets were, were uh, fired over here, uh, one block over to the left. A uh, bunch of col uh, police cars were set on fire on Beverly, two right here. Then there was a car that drove right through the crowd at full speed and made a right um, on, uh, what is this, on 3rd Street. A couple of the girls got hurt. And um, yeah, it's been is this very, a police very car or a civilian no, car? No, it was a civilian car. It was, uh, it was a burgundy colored, I don't know the make of it, it's like an American made car. I'm not sure, sure if it was Chevy, but he just drove straight through the crowd. As someone does donuts straight ahead. I don't know if you want a shot of that. Where was donuts? Donuts. You're gonna. You're gonna hide behind me? Oh, okay, I got questions for you. <laughs> uh, I just missed it. Can you repeat that question? I just missed it, guys, sorry. What was the question? Uh, they'll, they'll repeat it, probably. Okay, I'll give you my card. I have sure a bunch thing. of photos if you want them. Thank you. Who are you with, Do yourself? You, I'm with a publication called Calcos News, but I'm broadcasting live on my own YouTube oh, channel. Wonderful. You wanna tell people, you're not, the camera's not facing you, but you wanna tell the audience where, oh, here's the question. <laughs> Uh, are you aware that Floyd and the cop... Oh, it's something unrelated. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, so there's a bunch of cop cars uh, lit on fire on Beverly and a few of them over here on the left. There was this bus so, that you can so, actually see. To point, to point to the audience, the, the, the cop cars were over around, the around this corner yes. and they were set on fire. Yes, they were set on fire and a bunch of uh, the protesters were pushed into the Trader Joe's parking lot and pushed down to the ground. So the Trader Joe's arrested. is directly ahead. Exactly. I don't know if that they got arrested or not. And the car that I'm talking about, the burgundy car that drove into the crowd, made its way down this way towards us and off to the right on 3rd Street. And a couple of the people got hurt and clipped by the car. And you're saying that was a civilian car? That was a civilian car. It was a burgundy. Again, I'm not sure it was a Chevy or not. So it was very, very And then dangerous. rubber bullets were fired where? Um, off to the right, uh, right around here. On, on yes, 3rd Street? Close to, close to Edinburgh, yeah. Okay, so this is 3rd third, third and Fairfax, this corner right here. Yeah. Then down that way, about half a block to Edinburgh, where I got started, that's where apparently the rubber bullets were fired. I need to pause for a second to adjust my attire. Okay. Trader Joe's and car assault occurred. Yeah, I somehow I did not hear about the car assault on the radio or from the mayor while driving down here. But let's see if other people saw that car attack. I'm just I'm losing the helmet right now. Things things seem pretty calm here at the moment. Although, had I been here earlier, this helmet would have come in handy and might still later today. Uh, all right. Hey, guys. Okay. Let's flip the camera back around. I don't know why I'm showing you, me, and Again, here we are, just south of 3rd Street on Fairfax, around the corner, around that corner, from where the action that was described to you took place. And this is the police line, and this is a line of protesters lined up directly in front of them. Though not that huge of a crowd right here. There are people, protesters, onlookers, all over the place around here. Although the, the intersection where I started out, Edinburgh and 3rd, appears to have a much larger crowd. Please comment at the intercept if you like the site. What do you mean by comment? I know of the intercept. From this angle, you can see the police cars lined up on 3rd and edging around the corner on Fairfax. And I don't know how these guys ended up right in between police lines. This man on the scooter as well. I guess these police lines are penetrable. Someone's asking if there seems to be any leaders of this group of protesters. Doesn't appear so at the moment as people continue to cross in and out of the police lines, apparently. So that lady managed to ride right through the police line, well, from within the police lines and then on out while saying cops kill. I'll see if I can get a little bit better of an angle for you standing up on stairs right here. So this is the crowd right now gathered on Fairfax, just south of 3rd, and it's a very small crowd compared to, I presume, what it was earlier. Likewise, a very small crowd to back at 3rd in Edinburgh. So before heading, how many injured today? I don't know. You, you guys are going to have to chime in with some of those stats yourself. I don't know. I'm gonna walk into this mini mall parking lot where there appear to be more people gathered.
So you guys know early on, I have two battery packs today that are at least 50% or so charged, hopefully 100%, I'm not positive, but I'm ready to go for hours if need be. And if that means filming during this curfew tonight, I'm ready. So here we are, you can see there's a CVS, a Whole Foods, and a police line. Oh, this city bank got all tagged up. Actually, on the way over here, have there been any assaults on civilians? I don't know, but this, I'd like to find a, there's the helicopter. I'd like to find a supervising officer who could comment on this car assault. Cause I didn't, hear about the car assault while driving down here or during the time I was listening to the mayor's talk. I'm just trying to get a cord that plugs into my charger in order. Massive group north of me on Beverly. Okay, let's let's try to find them. But first, I, someone's saying film all the leaders. If I can, I'll film leaders. We'll see. Uh, first, I want to film this group gathered right along the edge of the parking lot and third as sirens sound this car is decked out in signs all right so here is here is more action I have no idea what happened with the car assault. The, the, the more info you can provide me about the car assault, the better. Officer, is there a supervising officer here? Is there one? Oh. All right, thank you very much. Uh, you, you can't comment on the car assault, can you? Okay, thank you. All right, so here we go. Uh, well, this officer's got his... This officer's got his gun with, I presume, rubber billets pointed indirectly at the crowd. I'll put on my helmet. And let's, let's take a look at this standoff right here that's actually on 3rd Street. Just, we are just east of Fairfax. It looks like this is a crowd of probably a couple hundred, maybe. We've got officers hands on batons, officers hands on guns that I presume have rubber bullets in them. And protesters packed in densely on 3rd Street and into this mini mall parking lot. And here's, here's a, another look, here's a look from the, the east side of the corner where the action took place. So what we were being, what was, what was being, thank you for the comments. Uh, what was being described to me from this photographer, and I haven't heard it from any other sources, but what was being described to me from her was that this vehicle drove up into a crowd on 3rd Street. This is 3rd Street right here. Just past that light, which is Fairfax, before Edinburgh, where I started this broadcast, and hit a crowd and injured some people. I don't have that confirmed, though. Oh, yeah, big crowd coming down North Fairfax toward Beverly right now. Okay, let's, let's take one more look at this crowd, then I'll try to find that next crowd. And once again, guys, I don't remember all my LA directions, so I forget which direction Beverly is. If you could help me out with that, that would be much appreciated. This crowd's getting large. Actually, there, there are multiple protest groups merging right now. There's a large group of protesters marching, now merging with this, with this group that I'm already in the middle of. Hundreds, hundreds pouring in right now. Uh, this, this crowd might swell into the thousands quickly. 
Hey, you want to say something to the? Yeah. You want to say something to the live YouTube audience? Thanks. Thank you. Yes, I'll get some of the signs. This one says, "Stop killing me." That one says, "I can't breathe." Say their names. Black Lives Matter, no justice, no peace. Uh, prosecute the pork, Black Lives Matter. Let's see. This crowd here is swelling along 3rd east of Fairfax and in the parking lot. And I'll try to head out onto third. All right, here's here's a shot at the parking lot where the crowds are swelling or the crowd is swelling and on to 3rd Street we go this sign says we will not be silent black lives matter no justice no peace the, the street has been tagged no justice no peace here it says fuck Fuck cops. One eight seven, I think. Oh, they're making. Who's saying they're making their way to Rodeo Drive? I don't know. Let's. Oh, there's someone walking on the roof over there. I don't know if you guys can see him. There's a building tagged. With kind of a chimney-looking thing above a clock. Yeah, what is NBC reporting? Granted, the crowds here is swelling, so this could be the spot to remain at. I did see someone walking on the roof right over here. I don't know if that was an officer or... There, there are still seemingly random civilians in between police lines. Oh yeah, there are people... There, there's someone on the roof. In black. You guys can't see him because I'm... I'm not zoomed in and I can't zoom in. West to Rodeo and Beverly. The the protesters are heading west to Rodeo and Beverly or what? All right, so should I head west? I mean, it's it's heating up here again. And they're, interestingly, people on some balcony. They appear to be protesters. This building right here is all tagged up and there are people raising their arms, standing on top of a terrace or a roof. I can't tell which it is. Meanwhile, more police officers arriving. Fire trucks as well. Those sirens are coming from fire trucks. Now I'm right up against the police line on 3rd, east of Fairfax. As the crowd here closes in a bit, as do more police officers. As you can see, there are people standing on top of some container, shipping container type looking thing. Oh, the police are, police are backing up. Let's see if I can continue to get a side angle of this.
Humans Remit is back on. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. They might be. They might not. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna presume this is some screw up on their part. Although one officer just stepped on something and tripped right over there. One one officer's really got his his hand on a trigger. This officer right over here, hand on the trigger of the rubber bullet gun. Here's a shot from the side of the police line retreating and a large crowd of protesters moving in, following them while screaming mean hands up don't shoot or merely don't shoot while putting their hands up no the police are screaming hold hold the line helicopter overhead we're coming right up on the building where there were people who seemed to be support, uh, protesters or supporters standing on top. I don't know if this has anything to do with the... There you go, Zach. All right, back to the action. So, uh, although I don't, have a, I don't have a face mask that would deflect any bullets, and, and this helmet is cracked on my left side, so... I don't want to take anything to the head regardless, but if I do, I want to take it on the right side or the back. Oh, okay, stuff's being thrown. Something looked like a bottle was just thrown in the direction of officers on the street right over here. The crowd has swollen here. What was a relatively small crowd 10 minutes ago is no longer. Some people are standing on top of a shipping type container over there. People on both sides of the street here in the parking lot of this little shopping center, parking lot of that big shopping center. And police have retreated quite a bit almost to Fairfax. Justice now is the chance. This man is holding a bottle. Meanwhile, some other people are saying stop throwing shit. I did see what looked like a bottle fly and land somewhere around here. I, I don't spot any bottle at the moment. Here we go. Here is the police line holding ground just east of Fairfax on 3rd Street. The major action earlier today took place about a block ahead of here. And I'll give you a frontal shot of the crowd after taking another peek at the police line from right in front of them. Here's, here's a frontal shot of the crowd. And you can see the crowd has swollen in many directions. Lined up along the railing at the edge of the shopping center parking lot on the north side of the street. Well into that parking lot as well. More of the signs, fuck police brutality, black lives matter, no justice, no peace, racism is terrorism. 
No justice, no peace. Asians for black lives. And the crowd is is moving on the police line. The police are not retreating. Police are not retreating. The crowd is moving in on them while screaming, hands up, don't shoot. I think I ended coverage last night around 11. 11 Pacific time. This crowd is now within about five feet of the police line. Earlier, the crowd was moving forward when the police were retreating. The police are not retreating right now, yet the crowd is closing in on them, densely closing in on them. Some people as close as about two feet away from the front police line. Crossed out all blue. <laughs> Don't shoot, can't resume. Because I'm, I'm packed in in a bit of a bad spot right now. You can see the, the Citibank building at this corner has been tagged all over the place, as have many businesses around here. Fuck Pops. Uh, someone, what is that ACAB? I've been seeing that all... All Pops are Oh, back. thank you, thank you. I've been seeing ACAB all over downtown and now here in Fairfax. So you can see the police line is really police lines. You've got the front line right here that people are inching so close to that they're pretty much penetrating. And then you have less wide lanes, less wide lines of police in back of them. Though their numbers are relatively small, at least the officers on foot here in the street east of Fairfax on 3rd. Very large crowd of protesters that well outnumbers the police. Are you guys still hearing about something in the area of Beverly and Rodeo or something like that? Or, or has that chatter died down? This seems to be a focal spot right now. More officers now coming on, coming in on foot, walking east on 3rd Street. And the crowd is very, very dense right now and very close to the police line. I mean, you can see that the, the police officers are this close to me. As now, now the police are starting to guard their line and more, more protesters are charging in. This could get ugly. This could get ugly. Back the fuck up. So there, there are several, there, there's several police officers who are either within inches or just retreating slightly from the protesters. One protester is holding a skateboard. One's holding a sign that's in the air penetrating the police line. And the crowd goes quiet temporarily. To give you some perspective, we'll flip the camera around. Here I am at the entrance to the Citibank building, right by the corner of 3rd and Fairfax, the tagged up Citibank building. And we're, we're packed in very tight. Crowd in back of me, police line right here. And we'll flip the camera back around. And I'd like to get a spot where I have a better shot of the action and I'm not as in as cramped a space. It looked like someone threw something, but that might have been a bird. I didn't have such a good look at it. I will circle. You know what? Let's let's take a look at what's going on on Fairfax at the same intersection where I was about 15. 20 minutes ago, the crowd has swollen there also. So the crowd seems to be picking back up all around this intersection. We're on the back side of the Citibank building now. And let's see how close I can get to the police line. 
Stuff is happening at Beverly and Grove. Okay, you guys keep giving me that. So, what do you say? Should I be here or should I be at Beverly and Grove? This, what you're looking at is the police line on Fairfax, south of 3rd. So same corner, but again, the, the police have right now Fairfax and 3rd, at least the intersection on lockdown as firecrackers seem to be going off. I can't tell where. The crowd is smaller. The crowd is smaller right here than it is where I just was five minutes ago on 3rd, same intersection. But still, the crowd has grown here as well. And it's already the time to plug into a battery pack. A lot of screaming at the police officers, or maybe screaming among protesters at one another here on Fairfax, south of 3rd. All right, I was just adjusting a little bit. I will head back to Fairfax, where the situation seemed a little more intense. Crowds of protesters, there's an ACAB sign, which is something that Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti was arguing against during his speech today. I heard him saying something along the lines of demonizing all cops just adds to racism. Doesn't seem like this crowd is receptive of that message at all. Here we are back right by the front entrance to the Citibank building where the crowd is as densely packed in as it was before. A little quieter than before though. Here we are right up against the police line again. This is what I got going tonight. Oh, but maybe you mean the, the battery pack. Um, I, I was mentioning earlier that I don't think they're fully charged, but I have two battery packs on me. So presumably I'm ready to go for hours. Helicopter overhead. Police quiet, excuse me, protesters quiet and holding signs. Okay, uh, Annabelle is saying that the, the police are throwing tear gas over the grove. Should I head over to the grove? Any, any more comments? It is tense yet quiet here. What are you seeing over there? Like oh yeah, now I see them. All right, so there, there's a whole pocket of officers. You guys, you guys probably Dexton saying stay here. Since it's a tense standoff right here, I'm gonna stay here. If I walk all the way over to Beverly and and the Grove, I I might very well miss something. And Voltaire saying it looks like I'm in a tinder box. It does look like that's the case. And I'm afraid I can't get into this bank building. <laughs> Although, who knows what will happen if chaos were to break out here. So, more officers arriving. They're, they're right down there. You guys can't see them because I can't zoom in. But they're, oh, they shit. are closing in on the oh, crowd. Shit. And I want to have an escape route. As fireworks. Firecrackers or works go off somewhere. Meanwhile, alright, I've got, I've got a little bit of an angle here. We've got officers closing in. As, as the front line backs up, front line of police officers is backing up and more officers are arriving and joining them. Meanwhile, there's a hook ladder fire truck driving into the intersection of Fairfax and 3rd, as are other fire trucks. The tension is only building here. 
We've got some protesters, you can see very close to the front line of the officers. And hands up, don't shoot is the chant while people do have their hands up. Yeah, well, I'm at Fairfax and 3rd, and it is a large crowd with, as I said, a hook and ladder fire truck driving through the intersection, as well as another police car and more fire, lots of fire trucks. Is this a preemptive measure or what? Lots of LA Fire Department trucks arriving at Fairfax and 3rd. I'm gonna go over to the other, it's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna make my way through the crowd to the other side of the street where that parking lot had some better angles. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I got trapped. All right, we're making our way through the middle of the crowd, which at the very least is in the hundreds, but may have swollen into the thousands. I don't know. Back to the other side of the street we go, where I should be able to get a somewhat better view. Plus, you guys can now see those guys who are saying we're on a roof or a terrace. As you see, this... Oh, it's the farmer's market. It's all tagged up. And there are people hanging out on a roof and on a terrace. And previously, they were behind police lines, but the police backed up, and I was wondering if this has anything to do with it. As this, this man is leaning down, something, saying something like, are you scared? And he's saying, are you guys fucking scared? We outnumber you. Meanwhile, we're at the front of the police line on the north side of 3rd Street. This lady wants to cross. We'll see what happens. Alright, so access denied. The, the press who are behind police lines. We are on the northeast corner of Fairfax and Third. That's the helicopter you hear. Protesters with cameras on the roof. Yeah, well, I don't have a specific LAPD press badge. I don't think they're going to let me. I do have a press badge on me. Right, not working. That didn't work, sorry. Yeah, I mean, I'm wearing one, it's around my neck. And likewise, there are lots and lots of police cars in the intersection, and the, the fire truck is going back where it came from. Fire trucks, I should say. I will walk a little bit along the front police line. Great, this, this is not charging. I gotta switch to the other battery pack. Looks like one of my battery packs is not working. I'm not pleased with that. I'm, I'm just putting in the the other battery pack, plugging plugging the phone into the other battery pack, which will hopefully last for several hours. And I think it's charging. There's a police SUV that just pulled up. Some reinforcements arriving with, with 
what I believe are guns with rubber bullets. This officer is climbing on top of the hood of the squad SUV. Oh wow, he's taking position. I, I guess a lot of cities have curfew. Then, well, I shouldn't say cities, but I guess multiple cities in the Los Angeles area have curfews. As far as I'm aware, the, the, the city of LA curfew only applies to downtown. As far as I'm aware. So this newly mounted officer stands atop the hood of the police SUV, northwest corner of Fairfax and 3rd. Reinforcements have arrived. The standoff ensues. You want to talk to the YouTube audience? Yeah, we're streaming right now. If you try it, Josh Friedman. Don't try it. Josh Friedman. No. What's that? No, it's a streaming network. Oh, I may, I, I might have come across it. Probably someone in the audience. It's about 50 right now. Four, 46 at the moment. What's that? Some, someone in the audience probably knows. I, I don't know what it is. Or maybe I've come across it before. More, okay, more reinforcements arriving, walking south down Fairfax into the intersection of 3rd. Into the intersection of Fairfax and 3rd. As the crowd chants George Floyd. Immigration buses? There's directly ahead there's there's what I boot I mean it's I should describe it rather than just pointing. There's a bus that I believe is an LA County Sheriff's bus that takes arrestees to jail. I believe that's what it is, I'm not positive. Uh, if you know of other buses arriving, sure let, let me know. More officers on foot arriving and hustling a little bit. They are jogging and walking quickly. We have someone saying that a person fell off the roof. Wow, this, this could complicate the situation here. As the crowd starts peering in the direction, you can see someone standing on the roof right here looking down and a lot of people did you see this so now people are waving for help the word is that someone's injured and fell off this roof you can see people here's someone on the roof here's someone on the roof more people on the roof There are medical personnel, presumably in the area, but there's a police line. And the crowd is starting to walk in different directions. Including away from the intersection. So I don't know if it's been triggered by this apparent accident. As you can see, more and more people on the farmer's market roof but a large portion of the crowd appears to be dispersing. I don't know if this apparent accident is, the, is what triggered it. The numbers are dwindling here as people start walking in the direction of this apparent accident, as well as walking away from the intersection. There must be hundreds of people here. You're saying that there's an intercept article linking to this stream? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. 
I, I don't know what exactly has happened here. I mean, I don't even know for sure if someone fell, but it appears to be so. If someone did fall, I hope the person is all right. I'm just gonna take a look myself without peek, without putting it on camera. I all right. I just I just I don't know why the stream. Sorry guys. All right. I just took a peek over at the place where the people are gathering and I think I saw the individual who they're saying fell and he looked like he was he looked like he was doing all right and there were other people talking to him and he was nodding his head didn't look didn't look like he was severely injured I don't know for sure but it didn't look like a major injury or a major emergency over there now back to the crowd it has dispersed a bit but still lots of people here and now many people running in the direction i don't know what was fired but 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 people are starting to flee east on third street it seemed like it was a firecracker but it could have been a rubber bullet i don't know people are reacting more like the police fired something than a protester fired something yeah i heard the noise as well and i saw some little bit of a flare off in this this direction but i couldn't tell what it was but right after i heard that noise a lot of people started running east this direction on third street now some sirens and the crowd is not as dense as it was people are spreading into this large shopping center parking lot on the south side of third see some people hopping the fence into the parking lot lots of people now walking around in the parking lot who were previously standing right here So what is happening at Grove in Beverly? But I, I mean, it really appears like people, many, many of the protesters have been scared off. I'm gonna try to find out what happened. Let's. I mean, it seemed like it was somewhere in the vicinity of the Citibank area, which I'm heading to right now. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it was on on uh, on Fairfax, I don't know. But the crowd that remains is getting louder and their standoff with the police is ratcheting up in intensity. So back we are outside the Citibank building on the southeast corner of Fairfax and 3rd. Precisely on 3rd, not on Fairfax. You can see more police reinforcements have arrived. Lots of officers here gathered blocking the protesters on 3rd Street. Just, oh, there's another bang going off. I was about to say that there's, there are even more officers right in the intersection. But I, I keep hearing a loud noise that's closer to the Fairfax area. Fairfax Avenue, I mean, and lots of people now jogging in that direction, walking in that direction, and looking at what's happening. Some people looking scared. I don't know what has happened here. Meanwhile, people putting their hands up, standing in the parking lot behind the bank. Someone just threw a rock right there, that guy. Which that could, that's dangerous. If that guy's gonna throw a rock right into the police line, they might fire back. 
the action seems to be now centering around the south. It looks like some officers are on the march. Are they? I can't tell. All right, I am back. Oh, wow. Okay. That, now there's a police line. This is a new development. There's a police line forming along Fairfax Avenue south of 3rd Street. Likewise, there's a police line forming blocking Fairfax well south of 3rd Street at the end of this shopping center which in a sense would trap some people in if if the police were to converge on this little area you're looking at right now more officers moving in the background on the side street the the protesters and photographers are looking more alert right now than than they were previously so, something it seems like went off somewhere around here and I, I i heard that bang and i saw some sort of flare type of thing but i don't know what it was so here we are on fairfax south of third there is a police line blocking the intersection blocking the path as as this blonde lady right in the middle of the street flips off the police um, so the intersection is blocked and now there's a police line along the west the west side of Fairfax south of third likewise there is this police line that I hadn't seen earlier south of third in the middle of the street on Fairfax is now rushing away from this police line in the direction of the in the middle of the parking lot I, I don't know what they're rushing after I, it seems like a false alarm I don't know what all these people are rushing after but or running away from I don't know what if any but now, much of the crowd is backing away from Fairfax Avenue. Looks like some some uh, vandalism of Whole Foods is happening. Meanwhile, oh whoa, we've got action in the street on Fairfax. And action at Whole Foods. Is this Whole Foods getting vandalized? I don't know. Well, you can see, oh, there is a window smash. Did you guys see that? I don't know if you did. Comments, comments. Let me know if you saw that that rock go through the window right here. But now you see it. This Whole Foods is in its window shatter. I'm sorry about that. I I saw it, but what can I say? Meanwhile, the police are pushing forward. He's got a hammer, a plastic. Hammer. Did you see that? It's a, a man in a colorful hat with a black and white mask. 
Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> Peering inside the Whole Foods. What is going on? Oh, there's a trash can flying up. of a trash can <laughs> Looks like people are getting ready to do some shopping. Someone's ready to do some shopping. Yikes. This, oh, here we go again. This is the man with the mallet. He's trying to pull down the boards that are boarding up Whole Foods. Meanwhile, other people peering into the store. The police line has has moved, oh, and he's smashing it with a skateboard. Oh, and people are. As I smell marijuana smoke, this, someone's screaming, fuck Jeff Bezos. Man in the, oh. They're about to break in. They're about to break in the whole thing. Broke, broke the, the window with a skateboard. Now he's got to use the mallet. He's got to use the mallet. They have not completely. Oh, he's in. He's in the store. The man with the mallet is inside the store. Others are trying to get in. People are. Oh, fuck. I just fell, but I'm alright. People are. People are climbing on top of this. That a step just fell, and I fell with it. But. Alright, I'm I've got a shot. People are no, no. People are storming into Whole Foods. Or trying to. There's at least one person who's brought it in. Oh, and multiple people getting in. There are people inside Whole Foods. Now someone ramming a shopping cart. I can see people running. Oh wow. Shopping cart getting rammed into the door. This is an automatic door at the front of Whole Foods. Corner of 3rd and Fairfax. Kicking the door now. The door has been broken. I mean, the, the windows have been broken, but the door is not going down. Kicking at that door. Kicking at that door. Almost. Nope, didn't. Man continues to kick the door. Drop kick the door. They've been using a shopping cart to ram the door. They're ra they're ah! And the crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. And people are shopping. People are entering Whole Foods. And the crowd runs. The crowd runs. Oh, tear gas. That's, tear gas has been set off. Oh, and the police are charging at us. The police are charging. Police are charging. Oh, that was loud. Well, you saw it. You guys saw it. Whole Foods was penetrated. I saw people running. Oh, wow. 
car alarm's going off. I can smell the smoke. There was tear gas. I don't know how well you guys could have seen it. It was looking pink or purplish. Oh, and now people are pounding on... What is this? It says the Britney Spears zone? People are pounding on this building. I don't know what it is. It doesn't even look like a business that's open. As more people run and the police fire tear gas and they're approaching us. The police, the police are moving east. Oh, there's someone on the roof. As more, more destruction with a skateboard. I'm really in the line of fire, so I want, I want out. But you guys can see that this, this business is under attack. Or the building, I don't know if there even is a business here. <laughs> and cars are driving through the parking lot. And it's getting sprayed. <laughs> cars driving and honking. Crowds of people running. So the, the now there are multiple crowds gathered. This one seems to be standing still and peacefully protesting. This seems to be an entirely different protest right here. Just a crowd of people standing with a, a speaker and someone talking into a microphone. Totally different atmosphere than what's happening about the football field down that way. Meanwhile, protester crowds moving in all kinds of directions. Moving north, moving east, not moving west because that's the, the police are approaching from the west. Cars trying to get out of here. Looks like this windshield was shattered. I am pink. Uh, you can see tear gas. There's pink smoke in the air right around the intersection of Santa Monica, excuse me, of Fairfax and Third. Cars trying to make their way out of the parking lot here on the south east corner of the intersection, including this protest vehicle. What you saw with the vandalism and looting was taking place in the large shopping center here on the southeast corner of the parking lot, excuse me, southeast corner of the Fairfax and Third intersection. Protesters are now walking. This might have been an entirely separate group than the ones gathered where the looting was taking place. Well, I don't know exactly what was happening right by the intersection. But pro protesters are walking east on 3rd, away from what appears to be tear gas that was set off. And it's getting a little smoky over here. I should have asked Luke Radowski for a gas mask. That would, that would have been smart. I do have the helmet on today, though. Oh. So now protesters are in a confrontation with the police line on 3rd Street. The police line is advancing eastbound on 3rd, and I'm walking right up to it. Maybe I shouldn't be. You can see there, there, there's shoving. There are police and protesters shoving one another. Right here, they're just right up against one another. Right now they're not shoving. See protesters, arms linked, right directly in front of the police. Some officers with, oh, and they're, they're, now they're shoving again. Shoving again. Police line moving forward. 
The officer directly ahead of me has got an angry look on his face. A frustrated look, too. Shoving. Shoving. Man, officer with a gun, screaming at a girl, back up, back up. I'll, I'll back up a little bit myself. And indeed, they are pushing back. Oh. All right, tear gas going off. Some some protester fell down. Couldn't see what happened. Uh, the police line continues to advance forward east on third, and they're firing tear gas at the very least. Possibly more. I don't know. Getting a little smoky, but not super smoky. Large crowd, and now the, okay, so the pro, the police line is simultaneously advancing through the parking lot. Ah, I tried to get over that fence, I couldn't. Simultaneously advancing east through the parking lot, right by the whole food store that was vandalized and looted. I'm gonna head back to the parking lot, although I'm not gonna get a close up shot of the whole foods because the police line has advanced past it. As cars, continue to flee the parking lot. Here we are back where the major action that you saw unfolded maybe 10 or 15 minutes ago. You can see the police line has now advanced well into the parking lot, past the Whole Foods, yet there are people still on the roof. I will, you know what, before before these officers overrun me, I, I guess these are photographers on the roof, or at least one is, maybe they all are, I don't know. Before I get run out of this parking lot, as there's one lonesome security guard, I think it's a security guard, I can't tell, standing right here, I will give you, oh crap, I'm getting trapped in here. I'm gonna have to head back onto 3rd Street but first, I'll give you one look, not of Whole Foods, which you already saw, but of the damage that was done to this Britney, whatever the heck it is, Britney Spears zone. Or maybe that's just an advertisement. I don't know what this building is. It looks like whatever is here went out of business. But this was some serious vandalism that you saw 10 or 15 minutes ago, give or take. Windows being smashed. Oh, it smells like beer. I think there was a beer bottle used right here to smash or try to smash a window or just thrown out a window. But yeah, a mask on the ground. That might be from a champagne bottle. I don't know. But building tagged and windows destroyed. All right, back onto 3rd Street we go because simultaneously there's a police line closing in on me from the southeast. And I don't want to get trapped in the parking lot, nor do some of the drivers who are taking their cars out of the lot. You can see there's a line of traffic though. People trying to escape as maybe more tear gas is being fired. And the police are not advancing past the traffic here. A large crowd behind the police line, south, uh, whatever this street is. I don't know what street this is. Ogden, does it say? Anyway, back to 3rd Street we go. As the police have almost completely assumed control of the parking lot. Someone's saying the news chopper must be really low. There's the news chopper, although it's very sunny. Uh, I don't know. Here, here's another shot of the news chopper. Or is that a CHP chopper? No, that looks like a CHP chopper. I don't think that's a news chopper. Or, I don't know, LA PD chopper maybe? It looks like a police helicopter. Meanwhile, back, back at Ogden and 3rd, there's still this peaceful protest going on where people are gathered around someone with a... unjust and we Microphone so giving a speech. We will rise up for me against the evil doers, against the evil soldiers. I mean, soldiers on the line. Soldiers on the line. Not to start talking, man. 
Goddamn. We will rise up against the evildoers and we will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity. See, the white man, the police, are the workers of iniquity. And this is exactly why they're shooting that tear gas oh, trying shit. to get people who are Oh, everyone is running east on third now. And I'm going to get hit by a stampede, if not by tear gas. What does that shirt say? Support local female orgasms? That's, that's some shirt right there. Well, the police advanced, but then tensions subdued temporarily. It was not a sunny day. Well, someone's... Sorry guys, I can't keep up with the comments right now, but I will be keeping an eye on them at least every now and then. Um, it's a little smoky at the moment. I'm trying to see where the front of the police line is. As, oh, I guess they're firing more and more tear gas. I'm, I'm, I'm bumping into people. I want to get over to the side of the street. I'm in the wrong place, right in the middle of the stampede. At least wrong place to film. All right, so now I can see, I can see the front line of the police. Looks like they're firing tear gas, and people are just running full speed ahead, at risk of some people getting trampled. Eastbound on third. Someone saying this woman saying her ankle hurts. Some protesters are continuing to stand right in front of the police and put their hands up as a bottle was thrown, not a glass one. It came flying over my head. Police continue to advance. Now some protesters walking back westbound on third in the direction of the front line. More hands on guns in terms of the police and some rearrangement of the front line. So here we go, protesters standing with their hands up on, oh, this, this man just threw a bottle. And, and this is the same man, the, the man who just threw the bottle right here is the same man who broke, who initially broke into Whole Foods. Let's see. I, I, I mean, this is getting interesting. The same man who was the leader of smashing Whole Foods and breaking into Whole Foods, which seemed to spark looting, he's the one who just threw the bottle. And he's standing right here. And he also looks like he's grimacing in pain. This man right here, white, white shirt, blue pants. There he is. He's, he's the one who just threw the bottle at the police, which instigated the latest round of tear gas being fired. And you can see he's got a Nike bag. I don't know what's inside it. And he, oh, he's got a bottle in the right hand. And that looks like a wine or champagne bottle in the right hand. He is the one who instigated the break in into Whole Foods as he walks eastbound on third and I'll hang out in the middle of the crowd. All right, let's take a look at some, Lord's Army saying track that guy, other one go after him. I don't want to instigate something with him. Yeah, I mean, if, if the situation diffuses somewhat and I'm standing next to him, I'll try to ask him a question. But I don't want to instigate something with him as the police are literally advancing on us and firing what could either be tear gas or rubber bullets. I don't know, but people are sprinting in my direction. It was quite odd, though, to see one man instigating multiple things going on here.
And the chant, fuck the police, begins. Or resumes. And it's getting a little smoky around here. I have no idea what the man in blue pants, what his intentions are. I don't know. Like I said, if, if I come across him again and the situation is diffused somewhat, I'll try to ask him a question. But I, I don't want to instigate something with him. Yesterday, while on the 110 freeway, there was one protester getting a little hostile with me, reaching at my arm and, or grabbing my arm and reaching a bit at the, the phone. Uh, that's not something I want to happen again. I thought I wasn't going to need my sunglasses today, but they, they would fit right in with, with the rest of my attire right now. I, I could really use the sunglasses. You guys can see how I'm staring right into the sun at the moment. But it's alright, it's nothing I haven't seen before. Sun in LA. Alright, here's that guy again. Let's see if he comes over. And he does not have that bottle this time. Sir, sir, what, what's going on with the police right now? All right, you, you heard that. He, I asked him what's going on with the police right now. He walked by, he said they're trying to shoot us. Uh, did you see them shooting rubber bullets? All right, so I'm hearing it. I'm now starting to hear they're, they're firing rubber bullets. We'll see if I can witness that myself. Um, did I miss any comments about the guy in the blue pants? I, he didn't seem eager to talk. Although he did acknowledge me, I, I asked him what the police are up to and he said they're shooting at us. Didn't seem like he wanted to stop and have a conversation though. I appreciate the humor as I... I appreciate the humor as I glance on and off the comments. But I gotta focus on the task at hand. And I'm going to approach the police line from the side and see what I can of what action is taking place. Protesters retreating east on 3rd Street and police. Oh, some protesters are hardly retreating though. They're they're stand they are retreating actually, but oh some bottle just thrown a, a water bottle just thrown from this area at the Oh wow. An officer with a gun pointed directly at someone. Now more protesters marching ahead directly toward the police, screaming stuff like don't you shoot. Oh, everyone's charging, and a scuffle has broken out. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a there's a police SUV, and there's a loudspeaker saying, leave the area. The area is closed, and they're pointing, they're pointing guns, and now screaming, hold. Oh fuck, they are firing. They're firing rubber bullets, it appears. It does appear they're firing rubber bullets. As people throw water bottles back in their direction. And I gotta establish a new position. Water bottles continuously thrown in the direction of the police. And did you guys see them with their guns firing? Was I able to hold the, the lens stable enough for you to see that? All right, good, Dexton says yes. All right, I got some of that documented. Definitely heard, I mean, I heard and I saw. Now it looks like protesters are trying to Get behind this fence 
at a construction site. Everybody watch out! There's a ditch here and a construction site. Oh, it looks like they're trying to establish a blockade. But where are people gonna where are people gonna go here? There's nowhere to go. There's a closed construction site. Meanwhile, people throwing rocks and bottles as a truck pickup truck tries to drive on out of there. Actually a lot of traffic is stuck here. People throwing stuff. And they've used this fence from a construction site to try to establish their own barrier. And I have a feeling the police might fire into it. Rocks being thrown. People are grabbing stuff and throwing left and right. Police firing. Cars trapped in the middle of this. Someone's bleeding in the back, you said? They're not, so... Did you say someone's bleeding in the back? From the pole, yeah. Where? Yeah. Where is the person? He's over there. He's got like a big well with a little blood. Can you, can you point him out to uh, me? He's way back there. Alright, thank you. But you'll find other people with welts. These fuckers are shooting me hurt. You see anyone else who got hit? Uh, there's a couple people up there. My well went away, but I got hit an hour ago. Oh, this man's saying he got hit an hour ago and that he's seen other people getting hit by rubber bullets as well. So here we are looking back into the sun again. Let's see what happened to that fence. It doesn't look like they succeeded in putting up a barricade. And I, I don't want to hang out right in the middle of the firing line, but I will cross over Oh, it looks like some people are barricading themselves behind that fence. I'll give you a quick look before heading back. Uh, police are firing. They might be firing right into that fence and there's a car trapped right in the middle. So people are barricading themselves behind two fences that they ripped away from this construction site. And police are firing at us. Well, some people scream, stop throwing shit. And cars trapped in the middle, still trying to drive out of this mess. You can see people barricaded behind this fence, police <laughs> marching with hands on guns, at times firing rubber bullets. Oh, fuck. Oh, that fence is down. And people continuing to throw stuff at the police. Rubber bullets continuously being fired. I hit over 100 pounds. All right, now at the Grove. Oh, what were you guys saying about the Grove earlier? Well, not the- All right, turn around. And police firing, protesters running in my direction away from the, the police. Let's take a look at the comments. What what were people saying earlier about Grove or the Grove Drive? Or is all the chatter about that died down? Uh, there was raiding going on at Nordstrom. People of their own arms, which are you talking about this residential building I'm looking at right now? 
There are people on balconies here just walking and filming what's happening, but I don't see anyone armed. Oh, here's Nordstrom. So yeah, what, were, what was being said about Nordstrom? Sorry that the connection's a bit choppy. I don't know if the signal's being jammed or what. There's a big park. Yeah, the park is right here, I believe. Although, oh wow, people are pouring this inner and merging with the protest group that I'm embedded in. Oh, Nordstrom was being looted? This Nordstrom right here, I guess I missed it. I'll walk through traffic and try to get a glimpse at Nordstrom, but this police line is approaching. Driver holding a sign. Some protesters directing traffic, which I've seen throughout the day. Police line has advanced. Let's see what I can see of Nordstrom. I, I don't want to get hit by a rubber bullet while taking a look at Nordstrom, but here we go. So this is Nordstrom. Doesn't look like anyone broke in here. Now giving the police more space. Sorry, I, di I didn't miss the... What was the last comment about Nordstrom? I apologize. On, I'm now stuck going... You guys can probably see my reflection. Okay, here's the entrance to Nordstrom. Has it been looted? I don't know. Oh, it looks like people are running into people are running into Nordstrom. Good call, guys. Second day in a row. Good call. Oh fuck! Tear gas. Shit. And some security alarm sounding. And I don't see police here. I do see someone carrying boxes. This is a dangerous spot for me to be because I could get I could get trapped in here in the line of fire, which I don't want. You can see people walking away with boxes. There's a person in a hood who's about to duck into Nordstrom. Indeed, there are people entering Nord. Oh shit, there's a fire! There is a fire. A fire has broken out. This this thing that looks like a telephone booth with an American flag is on fire. I don't know what it is. There are people inside Nordstrom. Nordstrom. This is Nordstrom. I got to get out of here quick because this building is on fire. There are people inside Nordstrom. Indeed, it has been looted. People inside Nordstrom. Someone's shoving me out of the way as he enters. And this is on fire. This thing that looks kind of like a telephone booth. I don't know what it is, but the whole Nordstrom building could catch fire. And there are people inside, more people entering as I speak. And I've already seen people walking around here with boxes. It's my estimation that I gotta get out of here now. This place is getting engulfed in smoke. Absolutely engulfed in smoke. As people are inside Nordstrom, Others walking around outside Nordstrom with boxes. And it's getting a little hard to breathe around here. See more people walking outside with with boxes. Uh, it is smoky and I saw the flames. I don't know if you guys saw the flames. I don't know if the fire is dying down now. But there were flames. Oh, it is smoky. There were flames in this telephone booth looking thing right here. Which you can't even see right now. Because well, someone's grabbing it. I don't know what's going on. But it looks like the fire is either smoldering, smoldering or out. And someone is grabbing. I don't know what's happening. A man with a, a, a walkie-talkie is entering Nordstrom now. Oh, it is smoky. I can barely see. It's not so easy to breathe. Lots of looting here at Nordstrom. And this little thing, this booth, whatever it is, caught on fire. A booth with an American flag. I'll try to get you another angle of it. Someone's screaming police are coming and people are starting to run. And... I 
I, here we go. Here's a better shot. Okay. So I'm going to get a shot really quickly, then get out of here. This booth that has smoke coming out of it was on fire. I saw flames. Oh, it's an LAPD something. I don't know. If, oh, these guys might have extinguished the fire. I don't know. It's it's it looks like a little Los Angeles Police Department post. It's no telephone booth. This was on fire. You see people dousing it. I know. I'm saying they got hella police coming out right now. With a fire extinguisher. Oh, and the police are lined up. I'm gonna get out of here. The police. I can see them. There's a police line. Not a line. Just loads and loads of officers approaching directly ahead. Meanwhile, a man in a black coat and black trousers casually walking. I wish I had another phone or camera on me to take a better look at this. It looks like these guys with the fire extinguisher have succeeded in putting out the fire. Maybe I'm saying that too soon, but here we are. Someone's saying I'm on channel four. I don't know. It might have been last night too. All right, so we're at this, we're at the Grove. Got it. And it, it appears the fire has been extinguished, or has it, inside this LAPD booth. You're gonna get an up close and personal look. Okay, you're gonna look right into what was on fire. This is why the man with the black trousers was walking over here. Uh, so you're looking at the smoke coming out of this burned LAPD Coban right outside Nordstrom's of the Grove. And people hosing this down with a fire extinguisher. You're getting a look up close and personal of what just caught fire. Oh, I don't like that sound. Oh, they're trying to break in from this end. All right, I'm getting out of here. You, I gave you, oh, the police are marching. I gave you guys your, I gave you guys your up close and personal look at that LAPD post. That's what I'll call it. An LAPD post outside Nordstrom. That caught fire. Meanwhile, the police line isn't closing on me and I don't want to get trapped in here. I could, I don't want to. A camera crew is approaching, but nonetheless, I think you guys already saw the shot and I want out of there. I think my lungs want out of there as well. That could have gotten a lot worse. Whew. Oh, that could have gotten a lot worse as people climb. So. Okay, I think I'm back now. I, I'm really having trouble maintaining connection around here. Uh, so I'm still on the Grove Drive, walking north. Yeah, this area has very bad signal, but I'm back on. I'm going north on the Grove. A bunch of police officers just drove by in several different vehicles, some hanging off the back of a truck. And they're all gathered outside the general area of where, I mean, I guess that's the Grove, where Nordstrom was looted and that LAPD police post was set on fire. Well, I don't know how it caught fire, but you saw it, it was on fire. You also saw it being extinguished. I think some people are taking refuge in this park right here, but I wanna see what's going on at the intersection up here. Is that Beverly? I don't know because there's smoke and I saw a fire truck there earlier but there's definitely smoke at this intersection as I walk north on the Grove. Oh, and fireworks or crackers going off. It is Beverly coming up, Dexton says. Thank you, Dexton. Wow, I gotta get one of those. Although I always sucked at skateboarding. I was no skateboarder growing up. No skater, excuse me. Uh, let's see what all this smoke is about. I don't think it's just fireworks or firecrackers because I see smoke continuously pouring out of some location right around the intersection. And I, my connection, or at least there, there's smoke coming out of dumpsters 
People are hurling bottles, water bottles and other objects at police. Police are firing on protesters. Protesters retreating just moments ago. You didn't see it because getting right, right, left and right with water bottles and objects flying all over me. Meanwhile, all over the intersection, very, very smoky around here. Large clouds of smoke out of dumpsters down there where the heart of the action is at the intersector fires. Oh, it's smoky. This dumpster is on fire. These are smoldering ore on fire. I'm not positive, but I'll give you another look at this one because you can clearly see the flames. Back live, we are on Beverly, just east of the Grove. People, I guess, because they're uh, someone's taking a leak. They're, they're dumpsters. Uh, okay, Dexton's asking me to explain what happened in the last five to eight minutes. I was just doing so, but probably too early as people rejoin the broadcast. So I made my way up north on the Grove to the Grove in Beverly. When I arrived at the Grove in Beverly, I found something like this, dumpster fires. Smoke pouring out of dumpsters at the intersection of the Grove and Beverly, which is directly ahead that way. At that section, there was a standoff between police and protesters, which is continuing. The protesters were hurling, some of the protesters, not, not all of them, were hurling water bottles and back at them. Very, very loud, seemed to be fired people running away from the police line which continues to be excuse me not the police most of the, the police as the intersection just gets smokier and smokier all right so this guy says he's waiting not retreating as hey you might want to get back there's two brothers all right so there you go i just recapped what you guys missed you missed dumpster fires well you saw one and Police firing rounds. Oh, also, right here, through this intersection about five minutes ago, there were a bunch of officers riding on motorcycles, passing through, getting pelted with water bottles. I got hit with a lot of flying liquid. Of the Grove and Beverly. People on the roof also. Oh, you can't see them, but they're effectively snipers. They're, they're police positioned on the roof of what I believe is a synagogue as the, as the police advance on us. There's a synagogue on the north west corner of the Grove Beverly and there's police with guns positioned on top of I can't give you a close-up of that now. Now, indeed, protesters are retreating as police fire and move their line eastbound on uh, stampede as someone's on a truck barking out orders stay right here to the protesters police might be firing here as I'm sure it's getting smoky around here protest The police line is moving forward, eastbound, on Beverly. Protesters retreating. The stream broke right at the intersection of Beverly and the Grove, where all this action started. The stream resumed about five minutes later. About a couple minutes ago, I just gave you somewhat of a close-up of, of the Beverly, of the Grove and Beverly intersection. And, people, and there's a there's a jeep driving right through the crowd. There's the jail bonds. Kiss jail goodbye. <laughs> now that's an interesting vehicle to be positioned here. No one seems to be interested in it though. Oh, someone take a screenshot of that. What do you know? All right, the crowd continues to retreat. 
east bound chopper that I think is a law enforcement helicopter in the sky and there's a couch in the middle of the street. People are posing on the couch. Connection resumed. Okay, you're seeing you're seeing looting at Flat Boutique Jewelry and Tiki Estate. My connection went out, but it's back. I've been witnessing people running into this jewelry store for the past three or five minutes, sometimes coming out with boxes. People continue to run into this jewelry store at the corner of Vista and Beverly. Flat Boutique Jewelry Antique and Estate. There are still Oh, ah, YouTube, LAPD, what's going on? Okay, I'm back on. I, I had to retreat from the jewelry store. Maybe I can get another angle of it. I keep losing connection. I don't know if they're jamming signals or what. There's someone lying in the middle of the street now getting up. The police line is advancing almost to the jewelry store. This jewelry store has been seriously looted as I just showed you guys. And I'll try to give you another glimpse, but I don't want to get shot. Here we go again. Black boutique jewelry, antique jewelry on the corner of Vista and Beverly. Still people going in there. I just showed you a shot inside the store. It looks it looks almost entirely cleared out, at least in the jewelry section. There's an alone up here. Uh, I did see some at least one person grab a box, run out, hop in a car right out here in Beverly and drive off. But again, Vista Street and Beverly, flat boutique, jewelry, antique and estate has been looted. Now a man is spray painting fuck something on, on the, the side of the jewelry store. As people continue to go in and out, although it looks like the people who ch check out the business now don't see what they don't see what they're looking for. Ah, that's the impression I'm getting. As I'm getting out of here now, police line continues to approach. All right, so you guys got to see the jewelry store. I have more footage of it. Uh, for those who missed, you can catch it in the replay, or likewise. For about 45 seconds while the stream was down, I shot footage myself of the store being looted. So that should be documented. My stream continues to have connection problems, but we're back and I'm walking eastbound on Beverly away from the approaching police line. And well away now from the intersection of Beverly in the grove where this altercation or these clashes began and now at Beverly and Marto who was mentioning that there are a couple buildings north of me on fire I've been looking to the north which is this way and I haven't seen smoke Anyone have any new info on that? Or maybe there weren't buildings on fire north of me. <laughs> Meanwhile, drivers continue to try to get out of the area, heading, heading east on Beverly. Police still approaching the crowd. The crowd is not as confrontational with the police as it was 10 minutes ago or certainly not 20 minutes ago. However, there still are some people right up against the police line. And as you saw, there's looting going on around here. Comments, Sue's got comments. I'll take a look right now.
Any comments? Hopefully I'm not having more connection issues. It seems as... Can I get a comment about the connection right now? It's, it seems like I'm back on. But I'm not positive. It seems so though. So here I am, middle of the street, on Beverly, just east of Martell. Just witnessed the looting of a jewelry store. Likewise, dumpster fires and large clashes between police and protesters at Beverly and the Grove. Now protesters starting to flee, starting to flee southbound on Martell, as well as in my direction, eastbound on Beverly. How is the connection, guys? Can you hear me? Can you see the picture? Across the street, I will try to go. Let's take a look at some of the businesses around here. They're, they're pretty much, not all, but many of them have graffiti on them. Although I don't see windows smashed around here. I see the ACAB that I know no, now know means all cops are bad on this building. I see many buildings around here tagged. And I'll continue walking along Beverly. I don't understand why the comments are disappearing. Am I, am I live? Are you guys watching? I'm not sure what is going on. I haven't seen a comment in a long time. Hmm. Something's odd about that, but I will continue streaming nonetheless. Here we are at the intersection of Beverly and Fuller. Am I live? I mean, I see right now it says 35 people watching, but I haven't seen a comment in a long time. And that leaves me suspicious of whether you guys can still see me and hear me. As the crowd, whoa, it looks like a confrontation is breaking out. Police advancing. I don't know what's going on. Am I live? I continue to see no comments. Very odd. Let me see if I can pull up the chat. Protesters start running. Oh, so David says keep talking. Okay. Finally, I, I guess I am live. All right, police advancing on the crowd. We are moving eastbound on Beverly. Okay, perfect. Now, now the comments are returning. Maybe I just need to click the chat button. I guess that might have been it. I apologize, guys, for the mix-up. But yes, yeah, so police are advancing eastbound. Oh, all right, that makes sense. If someone's saying if the connection is low, comments might disappear. Yeah, I apologize, guys, but I've been having connection problems for much of the last hour. Here we go. Police continue to fire something in the direction of the protesters who are retreating east on Beverly. There were, oh, some smoke coming up. I don't know if there's another dumpster fire or something or maybe it's just from what the cops are firing i don't want to get too close i i don't know about the blue pants i didn't mean to film that guy right in the face oh something is on fire 
All right. Okay, let's get a quick shot. Something is on fire right there. Looks like a trash can. Oh, they're gonna fire on this crowd. They're gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna fire on this crowd. Phone. I was. All right. Thank you guys for. As people tag more. That was a dangerous spot as I was trying to get a shot of, it looked like it might've been a recycling can that was on fire. Boy, the intensity just ratcheted up here on Beverly. Oh, I got a message from Karen Vili saying people are commenting. Thank you very much, Karen. I figured out or no, maybe not, but someone was suggesting that if the connection is low, I might not be seeing the comments. But here we are, just wanna make sure you guys hear me and see me as protesters are starting to sprint eastbound on Beverly with a truck coming right after them. Boy, the, the speed of the protesters fleeing the police has really increased as water bottles are still being thrown. Oh, fuck, that was loud. Beverly and Alta Vista. We are at Beverly and Alta Vista. Approaching a larger street, I'm not sure which one it is. Oh wow, so someone's saying the LAPD kiosk, what I was calling the booth or post next to Nordstrom, someone's saying that burnt to a crisp, which I'm kind of surprised because they were extinguishing, or it looked like they were extinguishing the fire so quickly, but maybe not. Eastbound on Beverly, we go approaching, is that Formosa? I can't... Uh, Yeah, Formosa. All right, so so we're at Beverly and Formosa. Oh, something might be getting looted across the street. What is this? Oh, this is a synagogue? It says Shomer Shabbat. Is this a synagogue? I can read some Hebrew. That, that says Shomer Shabbat right there. I can't tell what it says on top, but it's literally the end of the Jewish Sabbath right now. I don't know if this is a synagogue or what. Or maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a Jewish business. But there is some serious looting going on. People reaching into a case, pulling stuff out, knocking down the windows. A man just threw something to, to break that window. People grabbing, grabbing stuff from inside. Something is smoky and smoldering. I'm trying. There are cars, remote control cars being taken. This is completely, the, the glass is caving in. People continue to grab things from the inside of what appears to be a business, not a synagogue. Uh, you can see this place is being, not emptied, but there are, there are promptly things disappearing in a hurry. As a commenter appropriately, it says Ove, or Oive. I, I'm, as police approach and fire shots what is the name of this business I, I can't read it can anyone read that I can read the Hebrew the Hebrew says Shomer Shabbat which means keep the Sabbath which the Sabbath is ending right now so they're wow I guess all I've got to say is wow as the police approach and people scream they're coming while continuously grabbing objects from inside the business. And it caves, the glass continues to cave. And, and people continue to run outside with objects, such as toy cars and whatever the heck that is. A coffee maker, I don't know. I, I've seen enough, the police are approaching. I'm getting out of there. 
but to try to document it a little, no, I don't want to document it a little more. The police are coming. Well, you guys are seeing a lot of looting today. A lot of looting today. So that, that occurred on Beverly, just west of Formosa. Can someone figure out the name of the business? I'm trying to see the, the address of this block. I, I'm not seeing it. Let's, let's take, oh fuck. Oh, the police are approaching in a hurry. The police are approaching in a hurry, marching right past the looted store and charging at the protesters. <laughs> yeah, it's too late to identify that. I gotta get out of there. But it was on Beverly. Another store is being broken into. This is Sia. Sid's Pharmacy. Whew. I'm out of breath. People are breaking into it from both sides. Go, go. You can see people are crawling. They're crawling into the pharmacy. As the police arrive, I don't want to stick around for those holes. AJ! AJ! Oh! 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 I'm saying oh from from the the spray coming from the the tagging that's going on on that wall right over there. I saw someone walking with something taken from that Shomer Shabbat store. Oh. Oh, we have another dumpster fire, it looks like. Let's get the liquor store. Well, actually, I, this guy just said, let's get the liquor store. I don't know which guy, but someone over here. Uh, something is on fire across the street at Beverly and La Brea. Something is on fire. As the police continue to advance eastbound, let's see what's on fire, and then let's get the hell out of here. They still push. Oh my, there's, they're lighting, they're lighting these bushes on fire. Or maybe these guys are trying to put it out. Yeah, they're trying to put it out. But somehow these bushes caught fire. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. They're just shooting now. So that is La Brea and Beverly. A pretty significant intersection here. You're looking south down La Brea, north up La Brea, and continuing eastbound on Beverly we go. <laughs> the police are advancing. The police are approaching the intersection of La Brea and Beverly. What are people screaming about? It looks like they're screaming about this. Someone saying National Guard activated in LA. Can you confirm that? On the way to the protest this afternoon, I was listening to LA Mayor Eric Garcetti give his address and he was saying as someone someone taps the top of my helmet he was saying that this is not like the 92 uh rodney king riots and that the national guard would not be called into la that's what i heard mayor garcetti saying in his address today addressing the situation that's going on with the protest can anyone confirm whether the National Guard is being called in. 
All right, back, backwards I go. Unfortunately, one to control, wow. Uh, so it looks like the action right now is at the intersection of Beverly and La Brea. More smoke coming from the area where that bush was burning. I don't know if it was appropriately a burning bush, but those bushes were burning. You saw them on fire. And it appears the police have closed in on that intersection. The crowd is now shifting over to the north side of the street. I don't know why. Not everyone, but a lot of them. Seem to be staring at the northwest, or excuse me, northeast corner of Beverly and La Brea. I don't know why. Actually, the police are not advancing so quickly at the moment. Let's, let's walk back and take a little look. As protesters start to disperse a little bit, going off on side streets. It's so hard to get a gauge of how many people there are because protests are constantly splintering and then at times uniting with one another. So sometimes you'll be in a crowd of something that looks like 100 or 200 and then quickly it looks like 1,000 or 2,000. And sometimes you're in a large crowd and then a lot of people disappear. And I guess I just try to look for the closest place where there's action going on. So far I've migrated from 3rd and Fairfax where the major standoff and apparently violence took place earlier today over to the Grove. Oh, what are they saying? Oh, looting continuing here? Trash can on fire. There is a trash can on fire. Oh. And someone takes a pillow. A couple pillows. Tempur-Pedic is being looted. With a trash can on fire outside. Oh, there's a fire inside. There's a bed on fire inside this Tempur-Pedic store. Or whatever this mattress store is. There's a bed on fire. I'm going to go give you another glimpse of it as the police approach. This is going to be a quick glimpse. Because the police are closing in. And there isn't much blocking me. But here we go, there's a fire. It looks like people are trying to put it out. Here's the bed that was burning. It is burning. The fire is almost entirely out. But this bed is still on fire. Well, most of the beds in here are intact as people continue to douse the fire here with water. This one that is burned. Windows been smashed in right here. Windows been smashed on the other side. Of the, oh, there's. Oh, it looks like a liquor store is being looted. You can see people running with bottles of alcohol out out of this liquor store. Looks like maybe snacks too. Ariel, fine wine and spirits. People continue to run toward this liquor store. And inside they go, as I hear someone saying there's alcohol and shit. This liquor store, Ariel Fine Wine and Spirits. Meanwhile, my the police are approaching right over there. I don't know why they're moving slowly. Really odd. Excuse me. You are here with the protest? Yes! Ma'am, ma'am, for the live YouTube audience, can you tell us what happened? Fuck all that, bro. I'm not here, none of that shit. I'm gonna kill somebody for real. Somebody fucking put their hands on my throat. I'm gonna fucking kill them. I don't give a fuck. Black, white, or Mexican, I don't give a fuck. Fuck with me on my throat, I'm gonna fuck with you. That's for anybody. Even y'all, I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. Somebody come up to me crooked, I'm gonna scab the fuck out of you. As more people pour out of the liquor store with bottles, this man continues to be angry. Ma'am, I'll just ask one more time. Could you could you tell us what happened? I got my glasses ripped off. I got robbed blind by two black men for no fucking reason. I'm out here fighting for y'all. What did they steal?
intense moments outside Ariel Fine Wine and Spirits, which has now been looted. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna circle my way around because the police have stopped advancing, but they would have a clean line of fire at me if I were to. Hey, what's your channel? It's Josh Friedman. Oh, I see it. What's your channel, or what? Who are you with? Rise I'm sorry. Rise Images. R I S E I M G. -E uh, say say it louder so they can hear you. R I S E I M A G E. Yes, the, the, the first one okay, the, Rise Images. Yeah, there's two channels. There's Rise Images and then there's Rise Images 2, number two. So all the raw footage goes on Rise Images 2 and then the edited stuff goes on Rise Images. I've been to Hong Kong, Iraq, all, all around, so just check it out. Maybe we'll get in touch. I, I'm a nomad. I travel around the world most of the Yeah, no, I've seen your content. All right, well, pleasure. So, send me an email or something. We'll get in touch. Do you have a card? Uh, I don't. I'll, I'll send you a message on YouTube. Fair enough. Twitter, YouTube, whatever. You too. Now I am walking into the line of fire, but maybe if I just hold up my press, fuck, nope. I don't like, I don't know about this. The police are lined up. I'm just gonna try to hold my press badge, not that they could really see it so clearly, but there are, there's a photographer, as I walk by the mattress store where the fire is now out, I hope they don't fire. I'm now, oh shit, speaking of fire, what the fuck, I gotta get out of here, holy fuck, this trash can fire has escalated, well maybe not so much, but it was on fire 10 minutes ago or whenever I was out there and it's still on fire, very smoky, I don't know why, but the police have stopped advancing, they're not retreating, they're just standing still in a line on Beverly, west of La Brea and I will retreat because I've got enough footage out of that intersection that was a busy corner a lot going on there someone saying news update trash can fire has escalated yeah was that a little sensational for you guys is that a little sensationalism all right Large crowd just staying put here at Beverly with a chopper overhead. Beverly and Sycamore. And it says the system that failed to protect as I'm blocking this guy's path. You can see the pillows that were, those are the pillows taken from the mattress store. It says, it's as if people don't even want to conceal the looting that's taking place. What are you live on right now? I'm live on YouTube. Are you live? What's your channel? But speak up so they can hear you. Which direction are they firing from? I'm just walking because I want to see a escape route out of here. Yeah, you guys can hear her, but she was saying something along the lines of she's filming because she has white privilege and wants to document what's going on. Something along those lines. I'm distracted because if there are indeed police waiting up here, I don't want to get ambushed. But maybe that's not correct. So I'm just checking what's going on around this corner. That is Beverly and, uh, what does it say, Grange? Orange. So we're at Beverly and Orange Drive. And are there police up ahead? By the way, I got a message a little while back. I think I did. I'm not paying such close attention to some of the messages I'm getting, but I think I got a message from Josh Sigurdsson of World Alternative Media, who I think told me that my, my stream is on his feed right now, or maybe it's vice versa. 
So, at some point, have a look at World Alternative Media. Josh and I took a trip together across Turkey, much of Turkey, last September, exploring so-called lost ancient civilizations. And that was one of the more fascinating trips I've been on. Okay, saying that, yes, he's streaming to Wham right now. So thank you, thank you very much, Josh. And at some point, you guys can go have a look at his channel. I don't see, I, I am still on Beverly. And I don't see any action here, other than people lying in the streets and, and just standing around watching. So, oh, okay, World Alternative Media commenting. Yeah, thanks a lot, Josh. Um, curfew time coming up, someone says. Now, maybe things will die down here and action will pick up in downtown. I don't know. So I'd be curious, and downtown is where the curfew is, but downtown is where all the action has been up until this point. So let's try to, if possible, keep an eye on whether something might be happening downtown. You're plastered all over the intercept comments section. Thank you. Uh, uh, I guess those are articles on the intercept. I don't know, but thank you very much. Um, and someone's saying the whole city now, I believe. What do you mean by that? My question is, where is the action right now? And do we know of anything happening in downtown where the curfew will be taking effect, but where the action has been centered for the past three nights? And that's where I've been the past three nights. Or is it the past two nights? I don't even, I'm losing track. It's been a long week. Pretty crazy week. Just arrested the white girl with the gear. Which, what, the, the girl who, uh, huh? Did I loot anything cool? <laughs> so I'm getting that comment for the second or third time. Um, let's flip back around. It's just an awkward angle that I'm holding the camera. Uh, you're not talking about the girl with the camera who has the Twitch channel who I was just talking to. Who are you talking about? They arrested the girl with the gear. And let's return to Beverly and La Brea where all that action was just taking place for a span of about 10 minutes. And that trash can fire appears to still be burning. That trash can fire that I'm overly hyping. I'm not even gonna deal with that guy. I got better stuff to do. Uh, sorry, I missed a couple comments. There's fireworks going off behind me. Um, the trash can remains on fire. Protesters remain on the east side of the Beverly and La Brea intersection with one guy got a chair set up, legs relaxed on top of a skateboard and a little stool out in front. Officers continue to be masked straight ahead, but police line is gone. Yeah, it almost looks like, yeah, it looks like the police are retreating. It seems as I walk by this trash campfire that's still burning, it seems as though the police are now driving away and it looks like that they've basically decided that this protest here has been dispersed and they're moving on to a new area as the protesters celebrate. And now I think they're gonna charge. Oh, my, the looting's gonna resume. Okay, they're climbing, they're climbing right in the mattress store. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. That just fucking blew out my right eardrum. Woo! I cannot fucking hear out of my... Jeez, I cannot hear out of... Now I can... You can see there are people inside the store. But that was fucking loud. Wow, my right eardrum took a beating. As the looting resumes at this RL Fine and Wine... Uh, the liquor store looting resumes at the mattress store. You can see people walking around grabbing pillows I haven't seen anyone try to haul a mattress on out of there 
But looting resumes at the liquor store. This is the same spot where the woman said she was robbed. I'm not going for any bourbon. A bottle of water would would be a nice change of pace, maybe. That flash bang or sound, is it 8 p.m. right now? As they're screaming popo -po when people climb out of the looted liquor store. Wow, that was loud. Whatever it was, a flash bang or sound can. Oh, the... I think the fire truck might be coming to put out the trash fire. Nope. Driving right by that intersection. guys what do you have where are the hot spots there's obviously looting going on here but i've already documented that so i don't see much of a need to continue filming that intersection do we have any news about other hot spots someone's saying a lot of looting going on four blocks north of me on melrose all right let's head in that direction Sorry, I'm, I'm pulling my, uh, pulling the, uh, the power bank out of the, the camera. All right, follow the helicopters, you say, and see the bottle in this man's left hand, which clearly came from the liquor store. Uh, what cross street are you at? I don't know, but I'm, I'm going north on La Brea. And we'll see what I hit. I'm hoping that this commenter is right that there's action going on about four blocks north of me in Melrose. We'll see. I'm heading north. Is someone saying a curfew extended to the entire city? Uh, I, d I don't know if that's the case. Let's try to confirm some things, guys. Can we confirm whether or not a curfew has been extended for the entire city? And can we confirm whether or not the National Guard has been called into LA, contrary to what Mayor Garcetti would happen. As I walk north on La Brea. All right, the cross street is Oakwood. So we're at La Brea and Oakwood. No way. Did. Did, I'm trying to cross the street and look at multiple things coming at me. Did someone just say they're stealing ATMs? Is that what the comment was? They're stealing ATMs? If so, can anyone confirm that? For Santa Monica, Pasadena, Glendale. Well, those are different cities. Three more blocks, then turn left on Melrose. All right, let's... These are large blocks, but let's do it. I've been running and walking all day, why not? And a much needed break from the restricted breathing. I'm a little dehydrated, but that's okay, I can do without it. It's nice to get a little fresh air while there's no one around me. Uh, I need one of those electric scooters. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, what is happening at this area that's three blocks north of me to the left? I guess on Melrose. Anyone know what's going on there? All right, Clifford saying the entire city is locked down. Oh, looting apparently happening here. All right, so where are we? We're, we're on La Brea, again, next to some synagogue. Well, I mean, it is, this looks like a synagogue. And we're at the Modani Furniture Store, and the windows are shattered. 
And was stuff stolen? It's hard to tell. Hard to tell if stuff was stolen in here, but the windows are definitely shattered. And north... No, north on La Brea, we continue. As the man on the scooter riding by screams out, who's stealing furniture? All right. Now passing a Bank of America building, coming up on a Bank of America building, that like the city bank and probably many banks around town has gotten tagged. It says 512, 12 is crossed out. And a lot of graffiti on the La Brea side of the bank. Furniture can't get you drunk, LOL. All right, someone's saying Wells Fargo on Melrose and La Brea. If that's, are you saying that's where the looting is? If there's looting of a Wells Fargo with an ATM being stolen, I better hurry. I'm gonna, can someone confirm that? If so, I'm gonna try to pick up the pace. I'm getting a message saying entire city locked down from 8 to 5.30 a.m. Fuck, I'm, I'm locked right into oncoming traffic. Uh, so let's see what I might be able to find. Is what? Down at La Brea and uh, Melrose, there was a lot of stuff going on, a fire, uh, looting, but it's pretty much died down now. All right, now all kinds of street names are being thrown out at me. I don't know, I'm still heading north with a couple more blocks to go. Let's see what I run into. And I'm gonna pick up the pace. But if there's nothing going on there, then I'm gonna have to regroup and find a new spot. You can see a very nervous look on this woman's face with a dog, someone with, someone shooing the camera away, telling me to stop filming them. If I were a business owner or operator on La Brea in this district, I would probably be concerned as well. More tagging right over here, F12. Lots of Jewish stuff around here. Here's a yeshiva. Am I still in the Fairfax district? I don't know. If the Fairfax district, F12 means fuck 12 or fuck the police. Speaking of which, there are police cars driving right at me. With lights flashing, or no, are those motorcycles? Look like motorcycles. Lights flashing, now sirens. Yes, you can use my coverage and give me credit. Now fire trucks heading south on on La Brea, but you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna try to find this this. I'm gonna try to find this Wells Fargo you're talking about, or wherever this area or bank is that you're talking about. Am I closing in on Melrose? I don't know how long I'll be streaming tonight. I don't know what's going to transpire tonight. I think LAPD is going to have a hard time enforcing this curfew. And I don't think it was even communicated effectively because initially the word was out that there was a curfew for the downtown area only. But let's see what I come up on as I continue to walk north on La Brea, preparing to turn left, hopefully very soon. Thank you very much for the, the comments. <laughs> that, that's funny. Well, 
Apparently some people are watching NBC. Some people get a kick out of watching NBC. So I'm now at Melrose, I'm gonna turn left. There was a building on fire on Melrose where you're heading about an hour ago. Well, you know what I did see? I did see the man's literally walking around with a computer. I did, you guys saw that? I tried to hold it long enough without getting in his face. Did you guys see that computer he was holding? Uh, someone's saying the share where, uh, whatever. Yes, yeah. I'm getting a message saying it does not appear National Guard was called into California, not just Los Angeles. Well, that's what Garcetti was saying earlier with respect to Los Angeles. Someone's asking if I have a browser open. I don't believe so. How is the connection right now? It seems to be a lot better than it was when I had the big trouble back around uh, the Grove and Beverly. Thank you. All right, it appears the connection's fine. So should I hurry? Am I going the right way on Melrose? I'm heading west on Melrose right now. Right by a Winchell's Donut. I, I don't eat any donuts. I, ha I haven't eaten donuts in years. Uh, strictly gluten-free, but I don't eat gluten-free donuts either. Well, I, I will, I will run if we have some. Do we have some confirmation that I'm, I'm closing in on? You're 13 blocks away. Shit. Am I? Um. Well, these are smaller blocks right here. So, you know what? Let's try to pick up the pace. Do I have celiac disease? Uh, why not talk about that now? Melrose and Fairfax, thank you. That gives some clarity. Uh, years ago, I was tested for celiac... Oh, shit, there's something on fire straight ahead. Years ago, I was tested for celiac. It came out negative. But after, after a while... Sir, sir, is this your business? It's, it's my business here. I'm not my business. Can you tell the audience on YouTube what happened? Uh, I guess there's protests on the other side. Instead of getting the registration board together, they feel like they got to break other minorities who've been oppressed, business owners. We've got high fidelity, great needs. We've got the restaurant. We all put business and time and efforts to make ourselves better. And I don't mind for the protest. I don't need the vet stuff. So I don't know the owner, but you know, we're all trying to come out of COVID and deal with that. And so, you know, any little loss is a loss. It hurts. What is the name of your business? High Fidelity Body Piercing, right over there with the guy in black. So. And how can people support you? You know, once we open up, you can come and help the small businesses. We just opened in, in uh, September, October of last year. We couldn't really get any funding, so we're struggling along. Luckily, our, our landlord's working with us to rent, but, you know, we got people to feed just like everybody else. And you lose inventory, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a big hit. One, one more time, just because it's loud. Repeat the name of your business. High Fidelity Body Piercing on Melrose. Thank you very much, and best of luck, sir. Thank you. As people on the roof of this car... Hey, you're here... the driver that the right now. So I can tell you what's happening. There are person in Beverly here. Walk, walk with okay. me, please. So, all the... Um, Wait, hold, hold on one second. Where is, where is High Fidelity? Where is... Which one is it, right? There, there. Where are you from, by the way? I'm here. Danke schön. Where? It's this. It's this one. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, are you also? Are you a co-owner or something? Yes, I have the other owner right here on the phone with me. Okay, can you can you tell me what's happening? We're just here to make sure that they don't mess with our shop. You know, so I was just wondering, we're, we're, we're minority owned. Yes. You know, we did yeah. nothing to cause yes, any of this. Yes, they are looting we're right here. down there. Excuse me, sir. I'm, I'm in a oh, You know, we're, ho we're hoping for the best. We're hoping for peace. We're hoping that everyone can express themselves, but without breaking our stuff, without hurting other people. Did you put up this minority owned sign? We just put it up ourselves right now. 
We spray painted this one. We spray painted the one right there. And all I ask is the people, they come by, hey, I'll, I'll pound it with them, you know, good for them. But I'm here to save our shop. Have, have you had any confrontations with potential looters yet? Right now. And what happened? They threw some bottles at us and they were like, that's their business. I told me the sign. I have people that go by and they're supporting us, so. And what were the reactions when you confronted them and told them, look at the sign? They told us we're stupid, that we should be going with them. This, this is what I should be doing. This is what everyone on the street should be doing. Yes. And all those people, they should be finding a better way to protest. Okay, okay. Equally. Thank Thank you very much. I think I is that your co-owner or manager yeah. down the street? Yeah, he's guarding the, the place that they broke all the windows. Okay, I've got comments saying thank you for supporting local business. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot and best of luck. You too. Uh, let's go. Okay. What's sure. what's going on? So we were at Carson and Beverly, and you know, as the protesters were blocking the intersection, um, there was a girl who got the nose shut off. Nose from the shut police. off? Literally, she was holding her goddamn hands all over, bleeding all over. Her nose, her yes. nose was broken, or it fell shut off? off. Like there was a hole. Really? Yes. Her nose. Uh, are you willing to go on camera? Yes. Okay, so there's a protester who a, a female who had her nose physically detached from her and she was and she half of her nose and she was holding it in her hands no, she was holding like with a paper towel or whatever covering it you just saw that you know things were missing from her face people were carrying her then all the protesters raised their hands then the police all right let's walk and talk you can you can walk you can walk forward i'll walk backwards keep so telling me then, I'm not keeping time, but I can ask my can ask my viewers what the time is. Well, you have it also. Like eight or eight. Um, I lost my husband. All right, now what's been happening over at the the bank building or Wells Fargo? Do you um, know? Is there, has there been looting right around here? Everywhere. So Floyd's Barber Shop is looted. Basically, every little store, Melrose was looted, broken into. But there was no police. No, Alright, let's take a look. We're coming up on Floyd's Barber Shop. And what has happened at Floyd's Barber Shop? Let's take a look. So the window is smashed. Is this your source store, sir? Is this your store? Alright, so window is smashed. They're saying there was looting here? Yes. But it was no police. And tagging as we speak. But let's continue because I've been getting the tip to go to Wells Fargo down here. No, but you got it wrong, no? He's on Melrose. Who who is on Melrose? Or are you talking about me? I don't know. Oh wow, this is Super's Fight Goods. Looks like a boxing store or something like that. It smells like beer over here. That's what it smells like. Guten Abend, Deutschland. I don't speak German. What is what is going on here? Large crowd gathered. We are on Melrose near I don't know what cross street. Round two buy sell trade. Is this a pawn shop? I don't know what it is. All right, guys, I, I got to plug the battery pack back in. So let me try to adjust here. As it looks like people are closing in. 
Still people trying to break into the store. I don't know if police are coming or what, but people start scattering. As I plug in my battery pack. Again, someone saying I'm on TV. I don't know if that's true. All right, hopefully my battery pack is back in now. Let's see what, oh, I, are people cross? Yeah, people are climbing into the store right next to round two. People are, there's an alarm going off and people are pouring inside Japan LA cute culture shop. You guys can't see it because of the lighting, but, but this thing is called Japan LA cute culture shop. People pouring into this business, climbing out with bags. Some with sticks in their hands. Oh, uh, where? What's your name? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we are on Bay Road. Uh, someone's saying they see me. All right, I I think I'm heading into a danger zone. People are saying the farther west I go, the harder it, harder it gets in police. So let's see what happens. I continue to walk west on Melrose. Yeah, where are the ATMs? My streaming is faster than the TV. That's hilarious. West on Melrose we go. They have a group locked in and gonna arrest soon. Where is that? Okay, if I if I get to Fairfax, turn left. About eight blocks away. Are you gonna come with me? Because I'm gonna hustle to Fairfax. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and come yeah. Alright, well regardless where those ATMs were, I'm heading in the direction of Fairfax. Although this could get dangerous, I see people heading in the opposite direction. You can see that as well. And someone's saying to go a block south as there's looting across the street. Holy fuck, there are firefox, fireworks going off this, this trash can right here. People with pillows. I don't think I'm gonna make it to Fairfax. Should I head south from here? Hey, commenters, there, I'm coming up on a cross street right before what looks like a police line. Should I turn left? They have everyone on the ground and they're resting one by one. Oh, wow. I think there are a lot of arrests going on right up here. Yeah. All right, I'm heading to the line, but, but should I turn left? Oh, fuck. We are converging right on the police line as I try to get out of here on a south. I'm gonna hold up my press pass as I try to as I try to get out of here on a side street. Police line right here. I don't think I can catch the arrest, but maybe I'm gonna circle around. Press, press. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is All right, so yeah, I made a left. I don't know if this is Vista, but I made a left. As you can see, looters coming out from this alley. Be dangerous. Okay, so one second, I'm packing up because you know I have to. I have to uh, contact TV a lot. All right, I'm going west through an alleyway. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm okay. No, I'm asking her. I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Go back. Why are the police charging at? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go forward, brave man. Oh, come on, commenters. All right, I've made it practically to this cross street, which would take me out of the alley. Where will that put me with respect to the police 
and the reported arrest taking place. It looks like an open intersection right here. Let's try to circle around. Go back and watch them. That's what we're going to try to do. I'm now heading back to Melrose. So I'm about to turn right, heading now east on Melrose. With sirens blaring. And a crowd of people gathered across the street. Oh, the police are driving off. This area is opening back up. I don't know if they made arrests already or what. Or is it down this way? Wait, where's Fairfax? I probably haven't gotten to Fairfax. Is Fairfax right, down this way? Let's 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 cross right here. Okay, they're saying I'm not at Fairfax yet. Yeah, Fairfax is a couple of blocks away. Alright, we've got a fire in the middle of the street. Five blocks away now. I don't know if I can make it that far as people continue to dart inside stores. People inside this little market or whatever, drugstore, I don't know what it is. CVS, what was looted earlier? This is a CVS. Alright, so CVS that was previously looted, still being looted, I guess. Someone's giving me an address. I, I don't know where that... Oh, North... Is that Los Angeles Street, as in downtown? Well, whatever. There's action here on Melrose. I guess at Fairfax. And I'm walking in the direction of it. As someone tries to board up... Someone tries to board up a shop. Fire truck coming. You have, watch out. Watch out. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fires in the middle of the street. Fire trucks on the side streets. Someone says the law has lost control. Holy fuck! Those were fireworks. Can you go left on Fairfax? I don't know if I can make it left on Fairfax, but we're coming up on Fairfax, it appears. More people grabbing stuff. It appears that there's something like a fire or... I see smoke on Fairfax. I do see smoke. I mean, actually, I don't know for sure that's Fairfax, but... I see smoke ahead. All right, I'm approaching somewhere with a fire truck, it appears. Lights, actually, I can't tell what that is. That might be a police SUV. Lots of smoke. Fire truck now approaching. Fire truck driving westbound on Fairfax. People mostly walking eastbound on Fairfax, walking away from the scene. I'm walking toward the scene. This store is at its window shattered. People climbing out of this business. A mannequin is down. That's not a person, that's a mannequin down on the street. And just another day in LA. Rampant looting and lots of little fires. Yes, mannequin down. I can confirm it. As someone comes jumping out of the Urban Outfitters store and I can see more people inside the business. An alarm is going off inside this Urban Outfitter as people are sort of casually glancing at whether a shirt would fit them or not. Meanwhile, lots of smoke. Here's a fire extinguisher someone's carrying away. Lots of smoke coming from this intersection straight ahead. Do you know what inter you know what street this is? Spiding. Oh, okay. yeah. So we are like three blocks from Fairfax. Alright. Where's the urban outfit 
Cool. Here we are, coming up on... Let's see what is going on here. Oh, wow. Hi, Mom. All right. Fairfax and Spalding. You can see this fire hydrant's got a hose connected and the firefighters are working on a fire or what's left of a fire across the street. Looks like it's right out in front of a business. I've gotten by thus far without an electric scooter, but it might come in handy tonight. This is not just a downtown event. So LA County Fire is on scene and they're putting out a fire at Pearls. Looks like this business is called Pearls. So I'm standing in the middle of Melrose watching what appears to be a fire being extinguished on Pearl. And you can see there's some destruction at the business. Can't tell you how it all happens. I don't know if there's a, a captain or a supervisor who could comment. Let's just continue on because I want to see what's going on at Fairfax. Let's go, let's go in there. Yeah, the situation doesn't look so bad right now there. Although, what, what would be happening at Fairfax? Or is it south of Fairfax? Because I don't see much of anything straight ahead of me. How far away are we from Fairfax? Is this Fairfax High School right here? Um, Alright, someone's saying turn left on Fairfax, go south one block. Yeah, this is Fairfax High School. Okay. So, I'm walking on the north side of Fairfax High right now. Hmm? On Melrose. Okay, going going continuing to go west on melrose now as you can see i don't know if you can see through the trees but it says fairfax high fairfax high school i know what we did we went left so once i get to the edge of the high school that will be fairfax and i'll turn left and we'll see what i find there okay fairfax high looks eerily calm on an evening in which the Fairfax district has been all but set ablaze. So this is the high school, Fairfax High. Melrose Trading Post. I will see what happens. I'll see what I see when I turn left on Fairfax. Yeah, Fairfax High runs up along Fairfax Av Avenue, from my recollection. So, so uh, that should be Fairfax right up ahead. And I'll make a left, and let's see what we see. Thank you again for the helpful comments. Well, let's see how helpful this turns out to be, or maybe I'm just too late to whatever this spot is. By the way, what time is... Uh, maybe you know. It's... 8.25. Okay, thanks. So, curfew has begun. Uh, someone's saying 8.25 also. Uh, curfew has begun, but there's not... There's very little sign of... Of that. On the streets, on the ground, in reality. Left we go. South, 
found we go it seems calm over here all right now we are heading south and we are west of fairfax high well northwest but soon to be west There's a Bank of America across the street. Oh, someone's saying people are now getting arrested at Japan, LA. That is the store that I saw getting looted 10 minutes or so ago. I'm not gonna make it back there in time. So let's just see what is happening. I mean, I think that's the store I saw. Let's just see what's happening. Southwest of Fairfax High. This will take me closer to where it started today. But I don't think that's going to be where the action finishes today. Yeah, I mean, the, the comment about when the sun goes down, the monsters come out to play. That was my mindset going into the day. I knew there was a large protest scheduled for the afternoon. I didn't think it was going to turn violent in the afternoon, but it did. So, I mean, regardless, I had work. I didn't have time to, to get out there. But I was expecting something along the lines of maybe what we're seeing now to be happening late at night. But yeah, I got violent and there was a lot of looting in broad daylight, which which you saw, for instance, when I was outside of that Whole Foods. Who's firing off what? Are those firecrackers? All right, we're getting close to something. This should be what people have been talking about. Because we're about to be right beside the football field, outside Fairfax High on Fairfax Avenue. Yeah, Whole Foods was crazy. That really was crazy. And I saw the one guy instigating the break-in into Whole Foods and then firing stuff at the police as the police were firing back at protesters. Yeah, the guy with the mallet and the blue pants and the hat. Well, we did briefly get a call. All right, what's going on here? There's action. You guys are correct, there's action here. Let's see what's happening. Someone's screaming, it's our city, it's our city. All right, I see police lights ahead. I think we're just right next to the football field here at Fairfax High. A lot of people standing out in the middle of the street and on the sidewalk, but quite scattered. Not one big pocket of people. And it's hard to tell whether any of them are even protesting. Some looting may have occurred across the street. I'm not oh, yeah, people going in a store across the street. But I see a police standoff right down there. I'm gonna take a quick peek at what's happening here. So this is Maxim Restaurant and Banquet Hall. Or is it? There's a store right here. And people climbing in and crawling out with stuff. There you go. No, I've not seen any ICE agents. All right, you're saying they're arresting people? All right, you guys are looting here. Let's go down the street. I'm getting a comment saying they're arresting people down here. This might be where people are sitting on the ground, trapped in by police and getting arrested. I don't know. On Fairfax, here's the Fairfax High football field. And straight ahead is a police line. I'm holding up the police badge as they take note of me, my police badge. I don't have one of those, my press badge, as they notice that I am the only one walking toward them. Well, I have a new colleague. She's also walking toward them. Uh, take a look at this. Should I take a seat after hours and hours and and relax a little bit? 
Let's see if I can get footage. I'm not gonna sit down. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can get footage of any arrests. Officer, is there a supervising officer? For what? Whom I could get comment on press. Uh, not right now. Right about the time. Okay. Over there. Okay, I understand. Okay. Is it okay if I stand here? Yeah, go up there. Thank you, sir. Officer. Right. And they closed the flight. Oh, uh, shit. My mask just fell. Uh, all right, let me readjust for a second, guys. Then I'll... Uh, shit, my mask is tangled with my helmet. Wardrobe malfunction here on Fairfax. All right, all right, just patience. Give me, give me 20 more seconds. All right. Okay, ready? Fuck, again. All right, I'm screwing the helmet for the time being. I'll put it on if I need it. Let's see. Can we see anyone getting arrested? Are there people there getting arrested? Do you know what happened there? I think I'm assuming it's just because of the One of my buddies is posting and he sat down over there. And he said, getting arrested, be right back. But well, I heard... Everybody over there is getting arrested. I heard, I heard from commenters on my stream that there are people enclosed, trapped between police and sitting on the ground or something like that and getting arrested. I can't tell though. Now Dexton is saying the mayor of LA tweeted the National Guard is deployed. Can anyone confirm that? If that's the case, then that's contrary to what he said just hours ago. Someone's saying there's a sit-in. Is, is there any aerial footage as fireworks go off in this direction? Is there any aerial footage of this scene that I'm looking at right now? I, I hear helicopters, but don't see them. I don't have a very good view. I, I see somewhat of a circle of officers on Fairfax just past whatever this cross street is, but I don't see, I don't see what's happening within that circle or farther down the street. All right, someone's saying CBS has aerial footage. Can you tell? Or is there any commentary or can you tell what's going on? Oh, wow, Japan LA, is that the new focal point? Well, I've got, I've got footage of Japan LA or Maxim. Oh, Maxim's just down the street. All right, I'll head back to Maxim. I'm heading back to that street right across. Okay. A s store, not street, I can't talk. All right, across Fairfax we go. Let's see if there are any arrests or any more action as fireworks continue to be set off. Let's see if there's anything going on at Maxim, where I did see looting about five minutes ago. I hear sirens in back of me. As dusk really sets in now, and fireworks set off. All right, large crowd still gathered outside Maxim. People still pouring inside, presumably looting. I don't see police officers enclosing on the area. I see more people enclosing on the area. People clearly pouring out with boxes in their hands. I think someone screamed out reparations. Well, the mayor is contradicting himself, indeed, if, if he's sending in the National Guard. 
some fireworks. Thank you for that comment. And we're getting both a fireworks and a looting display. And I'm not sure what store this is. There's a sign Fight Club right here. You can't see it really clearly. And there's the sign next to him on Banquet Hall. I'm not sure which business this is though. I can't keep up with every store we looted. I'll just focus on this one. I mean, I have not seen a store have so many looters as many looters as this one. This is the most I've seen in terms of amount of people entering a business and exiting with goods. That guy's got large boxes in his hands. The one in the colorful jacket and red bandana. Oh, it's a shoe store, I guess. This appears to be a shoe store. Let's see if I can take a peek in without... Let's see if we can see inside. Some people say it's a shoe store. It looks like people are exiting with shoe boxes. So many people coming in and out. People continue, continue to go in and out of what appears to be a shoe store. More often than not, exiting with boxes. Oh, this this girl's got shoes in her hands. You see shoes, shoes in hands. Increasingly, people are walking out with shoes rather than boxes in hands. And I presume most boxes have shoes in them. Some looters nearly trapped inside as their cohorts let down the gate. This store is being empty. As traffic piles up here on Fairfax. I have no idea how many people have gone in and out of here, but it seems like hundreds. Maybe not, but I wear a size 10 in American sizes. Well, it quite clearly is a business that sells shoes. Meanwhile, someone with a security jacket is filming. Or on a FaceTime call, it looks like. Shoes, shoes, and more shoes. Indeed, a lot of people. Definitely the most people I've seen pour into a business today that's been looted. I saw people looting this starting, I don't know, 15 minutes ago, something like that. And it's, I guess it's continued without stop. Again, directly across from Fairfax High, for that matter, directly across from the Fairfax High football field, on Fairfax Avenue, right in between Maxim Restaurant and Banquet Hall, and Fight Club. Still, people entering on the right side, while someone and exiting on the left side as well. This man continues to hold the the railing or whatever that's called and direct traffic. Yeah. 
Now I might be hearing some police on a loudspeaker, I'm not sure. You're looking at the continuous looting of, whoa, what is that machine they're pulling on out of there? What is that? Wow, now people pouring out with large boxes. It could be a safe. It it was very large for a box coming out of a shoe store. Clearly not a shoe box. And it seemed to be like a hard metal type of thing. So it may have been a safe, I don't know. Wow indeed. Someone walked someone walked by saying wow. And this now people are running. But the police the police can all this time there's been a firm police line at the south end of the block. And they haven't showed any indication that they're gonna come in the direction of the looters. And the looting just continues. And that's is that a you see boxes, shoes, boxes with shoes falling out. People just <laughs> continuously pouring in and out I don't, I need to, I need to with boxes and shoes and who knows what else. This man's got four boxes in his hand. And this is a large plastic type of box. I don't know what that is. Yeah, they're now moving these large plastic, I think it's plastic, they're, or is it metal? I think it's plastic. Yeah, that's not safe. It was open on the top. Yeah. Oh, someone saying fire a building at Spalding and Melrose. We were just at Spalding and Melrose. Is that new or is that the same fire that I was watching the firefighters put out on Melrose? And there's so much debris in the street right now. It's, plus the right lane is blocked. Oh, we've got people hopping out of a car. And running. Someone, someone just hopped out of someone just hopped out of this gray sedan. It's a Toyota. There's someone waiting out of the driver's seat. He hopped out of that gray Toyota, ran inside. Now you've got the man in the driver's seat waving, motioning to someone, and we'll see if someone comes back into the car. Get in the car? No, I'm afraid I'm not going to get in that car, but if someone were... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get an interview either. By the way, I will need to move my car before 11.30. Uh, people running out with shoes in hand, no boxes. This lady seems to be struggling a little bit to get inside. Or maybe she already was, I don't know. You can see someone just curled underneath. He's got a backpack in hand. As the business security alarm seems to get louder and louder, protesters seem to be getting ready to disperse. Protesters, excuse me, looters.
What's going on at Spalding? Uh, confirm they just put out the fire in Melrose and Spalding. Well, all right. Hold on one second. I'm gonna talk with my new colleague. Do, do you wanna hang around with me? Yeah, I can. I'm just gonna wait in the back with you. They know you kind of coming. All right. Well, I'm gonna be getting. I'm gonna be getting out. Of, I'm gonna be getting out of here pretty soon. Okay. So probably, probably walking. Actually, I'm not sure. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep an eye on my comments. But I'm gonna be getting out of here pretty soon. Yeah. So, the looting has been happening here continuously for, I don't know how long, maybe 30 minutes? Just a rough estimate? And now there's even, the crowd's getting larger. I mean, it's, it's almost as if it's been broadcast on the news that there's a shoe store on Fairfax being looted and people are look people are handing boxes shoe boxes that look like an Air Jordan box to people in this yellow car. I don't know if it's a Corvette or what. I mean there, I saw someone pop out of a Toyota sedan and come inside. But, like word has spread all of word has spread all over town that this shoe store is being looted. Now it looks like a police vehicle is starting to make its way this way. But I'm not positive. Oi, 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 oi. Jesus. All right, indeed, it looks like a police vehicle is starting to head northbound, and there's the siren. A police vehicle is heading north on Fairfax. The crowd is heading North and Fairfax fleeing what what appears to be a line of police SUVs. I can't tell exactly. Or those might be trucks. And you can see people running by with shoe boxes. Someone's bumping into me with a pair of shoes he's carrying. Literally. I just got I just got bumped on my left thigh by a shoe as police on the backs and sides of a truck, like I'm in Mexico, are heading northbound on Fairfax. And now some people cheer. I don't know if that's because the police headed out of here or what. I don't know if the looting will continue at that shoe store. I don't know if there's anything left to loot at that shoe store. But I'll head... All right, let's look at the comments. Is there action on Melrose right now? I'll be blocked in? Where will I be blocked in? Is there any action on Melrose? You hit right now? Well, there was a fire, and we saw, we saw the firefighters putting out that fire, but I don't know if there was another fire that had been lit. Likewise, I'd be curious if there's still police action at the Japan LA or whatever that door was called, where I saw looting back 30 or 40 minutes ago. All right, someone's saying that fire at Spalding has been put out. Does anyone know what, if anything, is happening downtown? right here can you if you don't want to be filmed no problem all right best of luck
Only coverage over the Fairfax district. By coverage, do you mean the news channel's aerial feed or what? This B of A building is tagged like every bank building I've seen. Well, I saw a Starbucks being looted last night downtown. Adidas store, it's lit. Is that the store I was just at or a different store? No, I'm not gonna cross right now. Uh, siren, it sounds like coming eastbound on Melrose. We'll see if a fire truck comes into my picture in a matter of seconds. That's just my hunch, I'm not sure, but we'll see what it is. My hunch was correct. Maybe, I don't know if they're just providing assistance to the mopping up of the fires on Melrose or if a new one is broken out. But we'll head in that direction. Okay, we are going So, back around Fairfax High I go, I see flashing lights ahead of me on Melrose. Yes. I hear fireworks being set off somewhere, I don't see where. Behind me, I guess. But I'll concentrate on what's ahead of me on Melrose as I'm right outside what I think is the entrance to Fairfax High. Lots of fire trucks, it appears, straight ahead. All right, building on fire on Melrose again, someone says. And that seems plausible, given the action here that looks like a bunch of fire trucks. All right, now they're saying I'd have to go about 10 blocks. Well, there are a whole bunch of fire trucks gathered right here, which is just at the end of the block I'm on right now. Thanks. Maybe there are several fires that have been put out or being put out on Melrose. Oh, I've got a dry mouth. All right, I just saw one fire truck drive off to drive off north on a side street, but many fire trucks remain. Is this the same fire that we saw earlier? I think this is the same building, same fire that we saw earlier. Although I didn't even see flames. I just saw the hose in the street and the firefighters putting it out. Oh no, there, there's a... So this is the same building we saw earlier, but now there are fire trucks stationed about a block and a half or two blocks ahead. So there are multiple lines of fire trucks. We already saw this one, although Maybe it's just a mop-up, but they are 
hosing this Pearls building from the truck. You can see they're hosing from the truck. But let's go see what's up ahead. Actually, they're hosing from two trucks. Maybe if that was some potable water with not such high pressure, I'd have a drink. All right, back across Spalding we go. If the Spalding fire was the that one, then it's nothing new. We'd already seen it. Although we hadn't seen them firing water from the trucks. But let's see what these... Let's see what these fire trucks are up to. Whoa, a lot of smoke. All right, some dark smoke. This is a separate fire. Let's see what's on fire. Let's see what's on fire. Well, I'm coming up on a, what, regardless of which fire you're talking about, I'm coming up on a big one right now. Lots of black smoke pouring out of a building on the south side of Melrose. Police and fire personnel everywhere. I'll try to give you guys a shot of it from, no, that's not a good angle, but. I don't want to breathe this in for very long, but the smoke seems to be going north, east. So let's give you a shot from right here. I don't know what building this is. Maybe you guys can figure it out, but you can see all that black smoke black and gray, I guess, pouring on out of this building as firefighters shine lights and I guess fire a hose on in there. With police standing guard outside, at least one of whom is holding onto a gun with rubber bullets. Dr. Martin's store, someone says. I don't know if that business was looted. But there's just a ton of smoke pouring out of there. Well, if that, that lady who was walking around with me, who I think just found her husband, she was still here, she could take a photo of me. I'm not gonna bother the firefighters. Yes, that fire truck did get tagged. I'll give you another, I'll give you a look at it. It says, here's okay. Yeah, you're okay, thank you, officer. Uh, are, are you a supervising officer? I'm sorry? Are you a supervising yeah. officer? Yeah, yeah. Can, can you tell me which building is on fire here? All I can see is the reloaded Los Angeles. I don't know. I couldn't tell you any more other than they got to call for a special fire. Uh, someone's saying it's Dr. Martin's. Do you know by any chance? I have no idea. I have no idea. But yeah, feel free to tell Do you know if this building was being looted, the store was being looted or not? Uh -huh. Do you know if it was being looted or not? I don't know. All right, thank you very much, sure. officer. Okay, so I don't know if you guys heard that. It was a, it was a supervising police officer, not the firefighter. He said he doesn't know which building it is. I asked him if it's Dr. Martin's. He said he doesn't know. Um, would you mind taking a photo of me? My name's Josh, by the Josh, way. Josh, Felipe, yeah, I met you before. I've not met you, but I, I've seen you before. What's your name? Felipe. Nice, nice to meet you, Felipe. I, I don't really care, but my audience is asking for someone to take a photo of me. Sure, sure. No, but I mean with your phone, because I'm streaming right now. So there you go. I guess with the fire in the background. So there you go, guys. You're watching You're watching live someone take a photo of me for whatever the heck that's worth. I, I don't know. 
maybe it's a video. I don't know. Thanks a lot. They say you're a legend. Can you can you send that to me on uh, email, Instagram, Twitter? Sure. What would be best? It doesn't matter. Uh, whichever is easier for you. I just can't write it down. I'd have to tell you. What is it? Which do you prefer? Email. All right. Uh, can you write it down? Sure. Josh Friedman. F R I T M A N one N, not like the common spell. Okay, uh, what's your Instagram? Oh, oh. My Instagram is Nomad Journalist. Nomad Journalist? Okay. Nomad, like digital nomad journalist, like a journalist. Okay, I'm gonna find you there. Alright, cool. I have a ch I have a channel called Second Earth. Do you wanna tell the do you wanna tell these guys? About what your channel is? No, it's a bit. Well yeah, it's Second Earth. You know I mean do you wanna tell my audience? Sure, sure. What's your channel? Uh, channel Second Earth, Two ND Earth, One Earth. I don't know if they can hear you over the mask, but maybe. It's uh, Second Earth, Two ND Earth. And All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, they. You got it right. Second Earth. Bye. Have a good night. As work continues on extinguishing this fire. to balance the camera on this parking meter for an instant against it's a parking meter well maybe that's not doable as I try to do something else with my hands but I guess I can't but yeah you guys are looking live at a fire on Melrose a couple blocks a couple blocks east of Fairfax. A lot of smoke pouring out of this building. Someone left a comment saying it's Dr. Martin's. I don't know if that's true. I don't know what building this is. All right, I'll, I'll take a look on the back side of the building. Let's see what we can see there. Large crowd gathering, oh, outside the Urban Outfitters that I saw being looted earlier. Looks, oh my gosh, there's, there are flames inside there. I see, or is that just a reflection? Is that a reflection or are those flames? There is a fire inside the Urban Outfitters. So earlier this evening, you saw this Urban Outfitters being looted. Now there is a fire inside the Urban Outfitters. And I, I don't know if... The fire department hasn't gotten word of this, but as they fight the fire across the street, there's one burning inside Urban Outfitters. Fires galore this evening. I will go around the back of the fire, the main fire around here. And that's, that's so funny. It says we're open on Starbucks. Actually, was, was this window smashed? Looks like it. Yep, it was smashed. Open for looting, apparently, although this Starbucks doesn't seem to really be looted. Just has a window smashed, although it looks like someone probably crawled underneath there. All right, around the back of the main fire we go. As firefighters enter Urban Outfitters. All right, the firefighters are entering Urban Outfitters, so let's just get a shot of this. 
as someone tags the building as there's a fire inside and as fire ah! someone ah! someone hits me <laughs> someone just hit me all oh, screw me and there's a firefighter popping out as they're attacked now spreads to several locations on the street and the tagging of this building with the fire inside continues Oh, the fire department knows about the fire now. There's a firefighter inside. It's way in the back here. I don't see the flames anymore. Let's let's head around the back. Let's let's head around. Someone already took a photo of me in front of the smoke and the fire trucks. Let's let's head around back of the main fire here. Indeed, there are firefighters back here. I might have missed most of the action. Oh, I see they've got a hose. I, I don't know if you can see. I will try to circle around this fire truck. Okay, indeed. There are firefighters with a hose. They were spraying into the business through that back door. Now they're drilling into the back of the business. Guys, I'm putting the camera down for 20 seconds. The stream is not ending. All right. I'm not giving up on you. That was hand sanitizer. I think these riots will have an effect on the November election, possibly. Let's see how long this lasts. We'll see if it's still in the memory of voters come November. Oh, so you can see a, a big cloud of smoke coming up out of the business and then heading northeast over Melrose. Not such pleasant air breathe around here. All right, you're getting to see the fire attack from the back, but not terribly exciting at the moment. Let's go take a look at what new has unfolded over at Urban Outfitters. So I'm approaching Urban Outfitters, which has been looted and did have a fire inside the store. But things look pretty calm from the outside. Again, mannequin down. In fact, this is a this is a charred mannequin that's down. Smoky on the inside, but I don't see flames anymore. Oh, the fire guy just put the fire out. Thanks. R.I.P. Man. Well, someone just stood up this mannequin. Maybe it'll get resurrected. It is charred and broken, though. Here it is.
still smoky down the street at that other fire, though it seems much more under control than the main one over here. As you can see, cloud of smoke pouring continuously out of that building, as has been the case for a while. Firefighters popping on out of Urban Outfitters. That's a change of pace. Earlier we saw looters popping on out of here. Now we're seeing firefighters. Alright, sirens coming in our direction. They're going southbound. Well, they're not going to go very far because there's a blockade. So. That's not in. I mean, that's in contradiction to what the previous supervising officer told me. But they look like they mean business here, so you guys have already seen the fire here. I'll head south. Unless you have any last requests from this block of Melrose. I mean, you've seen the front of the fire, the back of the fire. You've seen the fire break out inside this looted Urban Outfitters right here. Are they planning on trapping people here? I don't think so. I think they're just gonna motion people on out. Oh shit! Oh, now it's really erupting. All right, so it's not the Starbucks, but it's that building that someone said, Mr. Martin's. It looked like the fire was under control, but it's not now. Flames shooting up into the sky along with the smoke. It's not Starbucks on fire, at least not yet. And now the police are standing guard to some extent of the block that's on fire. Not the block, but the block where the fire is. What's going on at the Target on La Brea and Pico? Oh, starting to get rest there. Well, let's keep an eye on what's going on at the Target on La Brea and Pico, but... Right now, I'll just keep tabs on this fire. Oh, fuck. Maybe I won't. I don't know why they would start shooting now. That would just create needless chaos. As it's, you can, you can start to feel the heat. There are cars that need to get out of here. Okay, I, I'm i in an alley just south of Melrose and a couple blocks east of Fairfax. This fire seemed like it was under control and now it's not. Flames and smoke shooting straight up into the air now. Whatever the fire attack was, now police are advancing on us. I mean, this really seems needless. Minutes ago, minutes ago, a supervising officer tells me it's perfectly fine for me to stand on the sidewalk and film this. And now we've got officers hands on their guns, advancing on this crowd. 
with a car trapped in the middle. No, the Starbucks is not on fire, at least not yet. But the fire could very well spread to the Starbucks. And this is going to be your last look at the fire, probably, because the police line is advancing on us. And they've got hands on their guns and are very aggressively starting to push people away from this fire. Well, as I showed you about 10 minutes ago, that Starbucks was broken into. The bottom of the front door was smashed open. I, I peeked inside and there wasn't, it didn't appear to be that there was much of any looting, if at all. Now someone's saying it's a shoe store that's on fire. Do we have any confirmation of that? We just saw a shoe store nearby on Fairfax get looted continuously for maybe a half hour or so. If, but everything is seemingly on fire or getting looted. All right, we're hearing Tony K shoe store is the fire I'm looking at. Multiple fire. I, I mean, I can count three fires on just two consecutive blocks of melrose but this one is obviously the worst as the police line advances on us and your your look at this fire is gonna come to an end shortly unless the whole street were engulfed in flames i can't tell you if the fire spread the starbucks it looks like it's close but thus far i don't i can't tell if starbucks is on fire so i'm backing up through this alley i'm already forgetting who felipe was oh felipe is the guy who took the photo of me uh. All right, well, yeah, I mean, from my best glance, it didn't look like Starbucks had caught fire, but it looked like it's certainly a possibility. All right, well, the, the police have run off the onlookers here. I think I'm at Spalding. But you know what? I might have a... Because the fire has gotten so large, I could probably get a view of it from somewhere down Melrose. So let's... Let's walk back up to Melrose. I might be on Spalding, I don't know. Yeah, I'm on Spalding. I love how you guys <laughs> know what street I'm on before I do. This store doesn't seem to have been touched other than graffiti. So this is the minor fire, or maybe it was a major one earlier. And the fire is, well, that's not a good view of it. As lots of police are turning left onto Melrose, one block west of here. I'm gonna angle Yeah, there are still onlookers on Melrose. Yeah, and the supervising officer told me before I could stand and film. We never had a frontal view of the flames. We only had a frontal view of the smoke, but now we're gonna get a frontal view of the flames.
both a fiery and a smoky evening here in the Fairfax district in LA. I'd say it's surreal to watch in person, but I think I'm just running on adrenaline and too busy covering the thing to take in the emotional impact. Now it's getting busier in downtown LA, Dexton says. Let's try to keep an eye on that. Also, someone please tell me the time every now and then, because I'm gonna have to move my car before 11.30. Thank you. Thank you for the comment and thank you for the time. Uh, I will drink some water when I get back to the car, but I don't know if I'm gonna get any before then. Also, this is interesting. Someone's got something here. Ma'am, would you like to talk to the YouTube audience? Okay. Well, what is your sign? It says, we per... Explain, please. Can you, can you try to speak up a little louder just because there's a lot of background noise? You're saying that black people should not be killed because of skin color and that you are precious? Yeah, all of us are, and um, all black people are, and we, we, should, we should be seen as human beings, not as animals. Um, and um, yeah, no, it's, it's an interesting location you're choosing to hold the sign. Wow, we're all gawking at the fire. Is there any particular reasoning for that? Um, this, we, we were walking out to our car, and this is what we found. Uh -huh. This is an unlawful assembly! All right, the, needs to uh, this, this police woman is intent on driving people out of here. I know. This is so much for that supervising officer telling me I can stand on the north side of Melrose on the sidewalk and film. There's a scuffle. Wow, this policewoman is screaming at the frontline officers to use their stick. Meanwhile, meanwhile, one guy's pointing a gun. This is, she appears to be the supervising officer and some of the more aggressing, aggressive policing I've seen away from the riot zones. Oh my, that man was just shot with a rubber bullet, I believe. Or was he? Oh wow, he's been, he's been shot. Oh fuck, the shots are coming in this direction now. Wow, I mean, they're just, that supervising police woman and the officer firing those shots, quite aggressive, quite aggressive. Where is the man who was shot? Where is he? He went down there. Yeah, he ran down there. Let's see if we can track him down. Let's see. Sir. Sir, were you shot? Yes, I was. Do you need medical attention? Where did they shoot you? In my leg, in my knee. Right here. One, One time, one, multiple times? Time. In the balls. They shot you in the balls directly? Yes, indeed. Like with the, the, with the shield blocking it, or? Yeah, yeah I'm all right. Let's need a second. You were shot once in the knee and once in the balls? Yeah. Yes, I was. Yes, I fucking was. I'll stay right next to you. I'll be so with you. What did it feel like? It felt like injustice. Well, there you go. S seen someone get shot.
Are you gonna be all right or do you need medical attention? And man shot is pointing at general direction of some officers. Alright, I don't know if my battery pack is out of charge or what. I just got the 20% warning. Which direction? Officer, which direction do I go? In the direction, this Jeez. direction. What the, the fuck is wrong with that guy? I was just over there. So you guys, you guys didn't see that. This officer just started screaming at me, moving back. And as I turned, he pointed the gun directly at my back from five feet away. Screaming at me to move in an unclear direction and then ultimately pointing in the direction that I was just told to move away from. All right, I see we're now past four hours on the broadcast. I don't know if I have any juice left in my battery pack. Water, 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 water. I, got water. I, I wish, if I did, I'd give it to you. This is the man who was shot. Hello? Oh, I guess there's bad connection. I'm saying that we're now past four hours on this broadcast and I just got the notification on my phone that I'm down to 20% battery which leads me to believe that I'm out of juice on my battery pack. I'm not sure but I think that might be the case. I'm still on Melrose, where there's sort of standoff between onlookers, as it looks like the flames have been extinguished and it's now just smoke again. Oh, okay, so there was a cop very aggressive right back on that side of the corner, of Spalding and Melrose, who as I was finishing up filming, trying to interview the man who was shot, that officer just started screaming at me to move and pointing and saying move in some direction. It wasn't clear. And then he pointed his gun directly at my back as I was turning around. There's the main fire. I think I still see some flames, but I'm not positive. Thank you for connection and time update. Oh, you know what? Maybe my phone isn't plugged in properly to the battery pack. I'll try that. But if I do get them now, then I'm probably out of juice on my battery pack, that is. All right, I've now got plugged in all the way. Maybe it will charge again. You're looking at the fire at what someone was saying is a shoe store. I don't know that for sure. Oh, I still see flames, but they're not nearly as large as they were before. And I, I believe the officer who fired the shot is the one here on the left holding his gun. The, the shots that hit the, the man I interviewed. If I'm out of juice, what I can do is go back to the car and charge and that would give me a little juice for one final and probably short 
stream tonight. And that's interesting. There's someone to my left who's streaming, saying he's hearing it's escalating downtown. And you guys are saying it's starting to escalate downtown. So maybe it's the time now for me to go retrieve my car and somehow get myself near the downtown area. We've got a hashtag BLM sign in front of a police line and fire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I am going to head. Here's a news crew interviewing someone. Okay, you guys are saying go downtown. Ah, oh, shit. I'm flipping the camera around. You guys are saying go downtown. Well, I mean, I don't know what's so special about that guy. I asserted myself and I got the interview with the man who got shot. So, I'm gonna start walking back to my car, which is a ways away from here. And maybe continue this stream for another few minutes, since obviously there's, that's the fire we saw multiple times already. Obviously there's still action in the, oh hey Second Earth. Sorry, I remind me your name, it was, uh, what was your name? I forget yet. Um, as I'm getting a message saying the National Guard's been deployed. Um, send me a message on Instagram. So, oh, Felipe, yeah, thank you for reminding me. Thank you very much for taking that photo. That was very kind of you. Uh, if you're going to downtown LA, there's a hot spot. East 9th Street, I missed the rest of it. I will probably momentarily wrap up this stream and try to get a little hydrated and try to get a little charge because my battery is dying and then head to the downtown area. So I can't promise you anything. I'm now running on low battery, but, and I've got some walking to do, but I'll try my best to do a second stream tonight from the downtown area or wherever the hotspot is that I can get to. So let's wrap this one up right now. We've been going for two hours and 51 minutes. I mean, I could make it a three hour stream, but let's just preserve a little of the little battery that's left and try to get one last stream launched tonight. All right, so thank you very much for all the input. Again, comments have been on put, on point, and I don't wanna carry on right now. I gotta preserve some battery. So, as I take in a breath of sort of fresh air with fires around me, just thanks a lot. And, and I guess subscribe and hit notifications if you wanna get notified when I go live. And hopefully I'll be going live in just a matter of like an hour or so. We'll see. So thanks a lot and stay tuned to the channel.